All right, let's go. Let's go. The, the next game between Cobra Car, the first game between Cobra Car and Edward Longshanks, and here we are, uh, 20 seconds in, Nilly, and we've got Franks versus the Mayans. Uh, Edward Long Franks in the red against Cobra Car. Uh, everyone's didn't. favorite cheat code. You didn't just say. It. I I had to because I had to say it because I knew you would say that at some point. And you've been firing out the dad jokes recently, so I had to beat you to it. It's a race to the bad jokes at this point. Okay, I will allow it. What do you think of that house from Cobra Car? Mm, well, sometimes it's weird with Mayans, right? You, your muscle reflex are building two houses, and suddenly you have another extra villager. Uh, just put another weird house as well. Okay, all right, just curious. Mayans versus Franks, then. We have Arabia as we start off every series. Uh, would you say that this is a pretty 50-50 matchup as far as civs go? Yeah, I would think so. Franks, probably for some people that like a bit more map control. Sometimes it gets a bit weird if you have a bad map with Mayans because you rely on gold so heavily. But I, I think most of the time the better player wins. Okay, yeah. Um, I think it's interesting because they are so different. Franks tend to go for a lot of farms and a lot of cav. And then Mayans, uh, they tend to go for archers and infantry. I'm um, looking at the maps here, and I don't think either player will have any complaints. Depending on how the walls come, if they come, they'll have back golds and stones. You're looking at Edward's back resources now as he's pushing in tons of deer. Um, and then I guess the forward gold's a little awkward for Cobra Car, but the wall potential is insane to wall in those extra golds and stones in the back too, Nilly. So no problems there. Yeah, I think so as well. Maybe a bit more of the open map for Edward here towards the left hand side. Could also be a map that can be played very small, but we already saw NBL, so I'm expecting relatively big walls here. Okay, yeah. Uh, a player who picked Franks a lot in the qualifier. Granted, settings were slightly different, but pretty similar. Uh, Jordan. Mm -hmm. Jordan mm -hmm. picked Franks a lot, and something that Jordan did... Now, wait a second. That was four in the TC, three shots. Okay. Interesting okay. board technique. Something I, uh, in my research, saw a lot from Hera. But, um, anywho, like, Bact would pick Franks a lot game one, and so would Jordan. And Jordan would always do a crossbow switch, which was really fascinating. But I don't think it had anything to do with him wanting to go crossbow with Franks. I think it was because he was up against Camel Sivs. There's something happened that I've never seen before. Okay. Edward just pulled his third village away from wood to get onto more food. Huh. Interesting. Maybe if the berry position is not close to the wood, that doesn't make sense. But because it's right next to it, you could do that. Huh. Boar will be a bit late as well. Transition onto the sheep a bit earlier. I'm interested. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, cu yeah, I'm, I'm curious. What, what's going to happen here? This is something I haven't seen. Okay. Hidden cup one. We just wait for like one micro moment and we think... Okay, there we go. There's six villagers in the TC. There we go. Back to normal. A hidden cup one, we're just like, who's who? Hidden cup two, we start to speculate based on quick walls. Hidden cup three, we start to speculate based on other factors. Hidden cup four, we speculate on the dark age. <laughs> 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 it's like we have really become advanced in how we criticize uh, the games, but our, I really don't think that... Uh, we're going to be anywhere close with some of these guesses here based on that uh however we will have a drush here and edward should scout this ah uh, did right. indeed scout it that's why he's pulling two villagers to get the walls up but this is a big big area as we mentioned earlier not the prettiest map to wall the bear is gonna get it's gonna help out a little bit cobra car will feel the need to attack that or just keep running i suppose and yeah, this is, I guess, expected from Mayans to maybe try and get early pressure in with the Militia. And expected from Franks to try and go fast feudal into the scouts. I think, Edward... This is... Would you say this is very... Um, I mean, it's smart walling, don't get me wrong. But did you say that this is kind of could separate uh, who is who? Because some players would go for full walls, whereas this is very tiny walling. Mm -hmm. Dogao, for example, would have went even smaller. Yeah. And I think the open walls were not an option because he True. only started walling once he saw the rush. Yep, so yep. those are even on the ambitious side. Had to pull three villagers at some times. And also something to note, prop 20, double lumber camp. 
there are lots of players that only play one lumber camp if they go pop 20. Yeah, exactly. Very fast. You pull villagers to wall. You invest resources into the walling. Now, it has so much on wood using all the straggler trees. And actually, I don't know if the scouting's not there or what. But yeah, it's open on the back side. And here comes the Drush. The Drush is just passing from Cobra Car. What? Shooting at the one militia there at the side. Quick walls in the back are solid though. Gate. Okay. Well, this, I think it's still worth it for Cobra Car because the alternative... Well, now the militia is getting weak, but... I guess the alternative would have been to do no damage, Nilly, so at least you forced into Witcher idle time. But good reaction from Edward to keep these units out. Well, the alternative is just going below the wood line and still get into the berries <laughs> and wood line there. <laughs> yeah, I guess I, at this point you assume that that's not an option. Is that tree going to mm. be overchopped? I can't quite click it, Nilly. Mm, I did click it, but unclicked it. <gasps> ah, same wood. again. Ten wood. It has 10 wood. Tell me Edward is going to notice this. Uh, oh, Edward's going to fight it off now. Okay. Interesting choice. Like, something we don't see too often. There mm. was no necessity for that. No. A little weird. I don't know why, but I'm kind of getting backed vibes here. I don't know why, but I am. And I, I could be way off base, of course, as I've been many times and will be in Hidden Cup. Uh, but the idea of a Drush, there's got to be people who are confused by this. Like, why make Militia? It's just to buy time. You look at home, and Cobra Car has been able to wall for the most part. That said, I don't think the eco is that clean for Cobra Car, and Cobra Car does still have that open spot at the front of the base, Nilly, so. Uh, you think Edward back T? Didn't he pick Islands? Oh, he did. Home that is really weird. That. That, is, that, that pick is a little weird. Forgot about the home map there. Maybe someone, you know, I, I think we've got to see more. But I just huh. don't like how Cobra Car has delayed into walls into not being able to go to Castle Age. Because now the enemy has all the farm upgrades. They've got some scouts out. Now you've got to send your villagers away from the deer. It just feels very awkward. Yeah. Leary, one of the guys that is pulling some villagers around to get those deer on the outside. But most of the time, he plays pretty good drush into flush and mm -hmm. this one felt a bit shaky looks a bit like drush fast castle it's like i call this an in-betweener because you get to the next age and then you don't quite have the res to go up but it's looking better now it's not looking too too bad uh, but sometimes if it's delayed by an extra 40 60 seconds the scout player can just catch up franks have a ton of food income coming in with the forage and the farm so it's just, these walls are very, uh, very tightly spaced, I guess, for Edward Longstays. Yeah. Uh, it uh, looks a bit like Tuesdays here. Mm. <laughs> Look at that. Cobra car actually goes Blacksmith Market. Is that an Eagle play? Eagle Pike. That would honestly be sick here. Yeah, it would honestly be really good play. Because if they're expecting crossbow, they might even switch into some skirms now, the Frank player. Uh, then again, the resource is looking really good for Edward. We'll see. And this might be a bit of a YOLO play, Nilly. Maybe a second, maybe a third barracks. Uh, we saw Mayans boom a lot in game one Arabia, but this might be a very different approach, and it might surprise Edward. Okay, Spearman. Is it maybe just Pike Monk teach forward? That would Don't... be an MBR play. That could be a Mr. Yo play. Yeah, Mr. Yo. Also, Barls did... A similar thing against Hart. I, I don't know why I'm so stuck up on Barls, but Barls honestly did play very different in the qualifier. And he's also a bit of a mystery, too. But uh, he went Eagles, Pikeman. But is it is it a bad play against Franks? I don't think it's an awful one. Well, the opponent should be able to scout it. But yeah, then it, then it becomes relatively tricky. Right. Franks naturally want to go for Knights. And then, well, against Pikeman and Monk, you don't perform too well. But still, Cobra Car didn't send a villager. Oh, wow! I'm corrected. Okay. You know, the forward thing really does separate some players in my mind. I don't think that Leary would go forward. I don't mm -hmm. think Hera would go forward. I don't think Viper would go forward. Obviously, they're all capable. But if we're talking big names, which people have been trying to guess, and they do a lot in Hidden Cup, this forward thing is definitely a little bit out of the box. 
Yeah, yeah, certainly. Second stable now by Edward. He has very little idea that this is coming. Only sees Spearman. Mm -hmm. But what are you going for? Are you maybe going for Light Calf now? He still has six on gold. Six on gold. This has got to be into knights. And he's just thinking, well, I hope I don't have to make a tower of my gold against any archers that come in. But when you see the third Spearman, maybe you know... I guess you don't have any choices except to stick with knights, but look at the forward monastery. Cobra Car is just gonna build it right in his face. A monastery first. TC behind it. I'm a bit surprised by that TC placement next to the mill. Yeah. But well, it's the the best woodline you probably had access to. Yeah. All right. I mean, opening with a monastery does make some sense if you're expecting some knights. The eagle and the spearman running past. The quick walls from Edward though. Not bad there. He gets some hits on with the TC, and now we see a siege workshop, which honestly I like here, because you could you could use the siege against the monks. While it's common to see the monk play with Aztecs, and you can convert the siege, you can't do that with Mayans. They don't get redemption. Maybe add a What's scout if you're Edward. What's the tough spot here for Franks is that you don't know how much your opponent is committing, right? You don't get any more scouting intel from here on for quite some time. Yep. Are you going multiple TCs? Do you have to go for siege yourself? Is your opponent playing one TC, two TC, three TC? Is it triple barracks behind it? Is it a siege workshop? How many monks is he doing? And it's so easy to underreact. Oh, conversion does not come in there. That's a big moment for Edward and went in there with confidence nearly. Also, still keeping the weak scout alive. I'll probably jinx him. But yeah, keeping the units alive and also the confidence to go for the second TC despite not knowing what you said. So expanding the eco, this, these players, they came to play here, and this is looking like both players are on even playing field. Opening with a scorpion, so not expecting too many mangonels to come out here. First unit indeed is a battering ram, goes for the stable, but honestly, Edward won't be too sad losing that stable. Yeah, it's not like he's producing out of both right now anyways. I think the TC being on stone is huge for de pot potential, excuse me, defensive castles. Uh, something I mentioned a lot about ACCM from the qualifiers. He loves his ram opening. So okay. got the also ram loves here. Mayans. Yep. But so does everyone who has a brain <laughs> <laughs> at the top level. So <laughs> it's a great sieve. Uh, that it's why speculating on Arabia. Honestly, it's just it feels so useless because the map is so known. So. Okay, and Ram Maganel, that specifically is what ACCM did in two out of the, the seven games in the qualifier, and Hera and I were talking about that, so that's interesting. But the Maganel does make sense now, and a uh, great micro from Edward. All one for one. Ooh, but still, that's fine for the defender, right? Yeah. He thinks he might have the better economy. He actually does not because it is the 2TC play. And, well, let's see. Conversion on the villager. Knights are jumping in. Okay, yeah, conversion on the villager. Do you want to get a conversion on villager, though? Because now you can't convert the knights. Not sure about that one, but the pikemen hop out of the ram. This is a little deceiving here. You look at the fight, and you can't help but remember that knights still pretty darn strong against pikemen because of the extra HP. And now the Maganel hops out here for Cobra Car. I think that Maganel will be doomed as well. And Edward Longshanks... There's no problem, and he has dealt with the forward, Nilly. Oh, so well played. Monastery now to heal up his knights. We'll get the villager kill, and armies are very small now. This is the weird spot, because are you investing into army? How are you transitioning from here if you're the Mayan player? It looks like we just have the third TC now for Cobra Car. This is a really fun game, because normally you see that being cleaned up. And you think, okay, the Frank player has a massive lead. But if you look at the Vill counts, the Vill counts, Mine player actually has the lead. And he still has his barracks at home to work with. He's still sending some pikemen forward. It's not as if he's threatened at all. And he's got a great map to boom. So I think it would make sense for Edward once he clears up the buildings to start pushing forward. But it does give Cobra Car a lot of time. Look at that. Still three monks there. Builds the Mangano. Cobra Car is not giving up on that forward. Really? Can he get conversions here? That would be really tough. Oh, uh, short distance. Uh-oh. Nope, no conversions. And now it just looks silly, doesn't it, Nilly? <laughs> oh, that went so bad. Not a single kill from the Mangnall either. Monk survived. Scorpion survived. So that was beautiful by Edward. Yeah, but also don't make this next Monk, Cobra Car. Just because you're a cheat code doesn't mean you can get away with this stuff. He probably forgot about it. No, he didn't. 
Mm. Yeah, I think I think I was I, I'm very surprised anyways that he continued to try and focus here uh, Felt like an unnecessary risk and I'm wondering if maybe Edward Longshanks is thinking about punishing Cobra cars pa quick walls. Did you see that? Oh boy. Did you see that? That was the that was actually the first real impressive quick wall we've seen in the tournament so far and now hold the phone people because you just said the previous person was Viper. So that's off your list. <laughs> No uh, one is allowed to say Viper anymore. Nope, no one, because 50% of the 700 people who voted <laughs> said that. But of course, it could be a lot of names, but, you know, just a sign. There's still some skilled players yet to be seen in this tournament, and I have to say, a quick wall aside, Nilly, the defense from that push was sick. We're about to see four TCs for Edward Longshanks. Oh, nice one indeed. No, it's okay. There's no aggression coming here. They uh, even destroyed your second wave and Scorpion Knight. Oh, 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 oh that's not pretty. Oh, it looked like there was almost an intentional fight for Edward to get on top of the pikeman, but I don't think that was a good fight at all. Ugh, that was so ugly. Yeah. Oh, so many knights going down and now licking his wounds has to go back there and heal them up again. Now you've reached that spot where it's so many pikemen and you might need something else if you are the Franks. There's the KD for you guys. Edward has just mopped up and Edward's going to drop a castle here. Honestly, I don't love it. I prefer it be on top of the hill, but still is on the hill. And I think Cobra Car can start to foresee the Axemen. And, well, actually, he doesn't know the castle's going up yet. He'll find out in a second. <laughs> That's an ambitious siege workshop. <laughs> yeah, I, I think he'll cancel that when he sees the castle's up. But anyways, uh, I could see maybe thinking long-term and switching into archers with the pikemen, if you're Mayans. What do you think about that, Nilly? Hmm, archers... How much are we on stone? We have seven on stone. Probably just two mangonels as the defense and then try to go for plumes directly. Yeah. I think the, the archer leapway that late in the game isn't really an option. Okay, and then if you're Franks, do, do you invest into a lot of Axemen? Do you make a lot of knights? Do you try and push here? Feels like that's a strong option. Yeah, I, I would like that one for sure. You see pikemen, monk. The moment you get like eight Axemen, you should just completely destroy this army. Yeah, but conversion's really important, right? If the conversions come in for the Mayan player, then suddenly the knights turn around onto the Axemen, onto the Scorpions. I think a lot's gonna go down in the next couple minutes here and uh, could dictate who wins or loses game one in this set. And it's just crazy. 80 villagers for both, 16 military for both, 96 population for both. Such a close game. And keep in the back of your heads, guys. Cobra Car under more pressure since it's really likely that arabia will be a tough uh, islands will be a tough one for him yeah it's definitely the case a drafting scenario uh these pikemen just taking out outposts right now then those outposts in good positions to just see what is what cobra car is up to and now we see a monk bringing in the relic here that'll be relic number two for cobra car and here we have something where i think players could start to guess a little bit so I was told ahead of time, these are wrecks, right? We've not seen these games before. They had to restore the game. So this is what the chat is. Edward Longshanks, who many people were just saying Hera, who has fairly good English, Nilly, said, can we restore? <laughs> I'm too lag. Obercar says, me too. And Edward Longshanks says, ah, very lagging here. Can you save? So keep that in mind. Something to think about, Nilly, <laughs> as we investigate. But uh, some some names leave my mind when guessing Edward and maybe enter. And we're just going to get into the uh, the restore file, which we do have. Thankfully, restore works and all that good stuff. Of course, things happen. And I'm glad we'll be back in the game here. And at a pretty big moment, too, right? Because this is when this is when the action is about to begin. Yeah, certainly. Like, both players completely building up to this point, trying to get to their desired armies and now going for the big castle age fights. Yeah, really awkward spot to restore, to be honest. Feels like it's pretty close, but it, let's see if the monks go down here. And it looks like all the monks are going down, and maybe it's not so close now, Nilly. If more Axemen come out, it's just Pikemen now. And Cobra Car falling apart a little bit here. Edward Longshanks looking very strong. Let's see, though. Well, the knights get in. The knights get in. The knights are going to run back into the eco for Cobra Car. The first time he's experienced this, and there's forward gold, there's forward stone and everything, and the knights can really use their mobility in this position, Nilly. 
and they're gonna uh, spread out now. Solid reaction though. Let's see. Maybe some quick walls at the gold. Otherwise, that has to be some dead fish. Just is pulling those. Okay, pulling them. No quick walls, no house walls, nothing there. Just rather unique, but the castle is up in a solid spot, not the best spot on the right side. Feels like the knights will be dealt with, and Edward is investing a lot more into Castle Age right now. I think Cobra Car is going to try and go imp. So let's see if the pressure is going to come in, and the pressure does continue. And what a weird situation in the middle right now, nearly. Knights, axemen, monks, everything, but no gold for Cobra Car in the front now. Uh oh, indeed. Problems there. Luckily, Mayan still getting so much more of the secondary. And he still has the third in the back, yep. but that's a lot of pressure from the Frank player. Yeah, and this is this is the diversity of the Franks. Once you get to Knight Axeman, you need to have Pikeman Archer if you're Mayans. And Plumed Archers are great, but Plumed Archers take time and they need the castles. And look at Edward. Uh, here, he's unable to do the same, but he's been done a good job sniping monks for the most part too, Nilly. Oh yeah, and that's a lot of emphasis on the relics. Look at that, three relics or at least two. One tried to go for another one and oh, he's <laughs> making a defense somewhat happen. This is just so messy. <laughs> it's like the units can't even move around properly because of all the buildings. There's random monks getting or not getting conversions. I mean, the players are, are just patrolling in what they've got nonstop here. And you're right, I think Kovarkar, after all is said and done, has stabilized a little bit and actually has a two population lead. It's still very <laughs> even economies, and now he'll drop a castle on the gold. What a moment there. Oh, great, great defense. And those two castles will be positioned so nicely. I think it is time to look towards Imperial Age. Yeah. Because neither player can really take any damage from here. Yep. Uh, Edward Longshank still producing a bit and has produced a lot of knights, which is his most expensive unit. Um, but maybe he just won't be able to find the damage, Nilly. I think it's so important for Cobra Car to have switched over to that back gold and now have the front gold available. And since he's not spending a lot of gold, you'd expect him to maybe click imp a bit faster. But I'm wrong. Edward Longshanks is already on the way up. Yeah, but Cobra Kai using the market now, so we'll follow pretty soon. Third cast hit the right hand side. That's a ballsy one. There's not a lot of army to protect that one, but luckily for him, the knights are at the other side. Yeah, knights are on the other side, but there's also some... He doesn't have his army here! He doesn't have his army here! Doubt confirmed! Oh, oh this is a bad one, because this game is so close right now, and look at all the villagers that are going to die because of this. Overambitious. Oh, God. Oh, God. Big mangalow shots. Yeah, that, that's a, that hurts right there. That definitely separates the two players. And it also gives Edward Longshanks an idea. I think Edward Longshanks might drop a castle on that hill now. They could take the, the position away from him, secure that gold. All right, Nilly. Hi, Big, big loss. And that will be great for the trap war as well for Edward. Because he can just decide, okay, what do I want to go for? Mm -hmm. Can even contest the monastery at the front. Oh. Maybe the timing we ask ourselves where the extra gold spots in this one. Yeah, I'll bring that up in a second. The plumed archer is getting some snipes in the back. That's good value. But yeah, the three tile gold is right by that hill where the castle failed. And then the other three tile gold is, is kind of in the middle to the left of all the action. So it's all going to go down right in front of us here. Which oh army God. comp is going to be the most expensive as we see a good shot there from Edward? Well, if you get to the ideal army composition with Paladins, it is clearly the one of the Frank player. The question is, will he have to cut some corners? Will he have enough time to get to the perfect army composition? Look at these castles, man! Look at these <laughs> castles! They're, they're all going up everywhere. This will come down to a treb war, and I guess, in theory, the knights are the better treb sniping unit that's on the field right now. Plumed Archer's not so good at that. Pikemen, they don't want to be anywhere near castles. And again, if the knights run in and the pikemen are in position, maybe the knights can't even get in close enough. So, a wild game here. Oh man, Edward, he is keeping his knight numbers alive. He's healing all of them. Viper would probably send them into the castle now, try to get some healing on them. But look at that, three monks, four monks even doing a beautiful job. This is going to be cavalier and plus four any second. Oh, he's even trying to jump for the monks. All right, he jumps in for the monks again, Nilly. He's taking out so many monks in this game. 
And look at look at the uh, eco KD. Edward has killed 22 villagers, only wow. losing three. So that's impressive. But we do have some plumed archers that are going to change that there. That's a sneaky move from Kobakar, and I like it because the plumes don't help him much on the front, but they can help him here. Only losing three villagers after you got Mangonal, Mong, Pikeman forwarded, and plumes raided your base? Yeah. Yeah, with some lag, apparently. <laughs> so, hmm. I don't think I was at the beginning, but... All right, here we've got the pointy boys. Let's get some boys in chat, ladies and gents. We know Halvadir is the counter, certainly cost-effectively to the Cavalier, but look at the resources for Edward Longshanks, and he's going to snipe a treble on the left. That's going to be Paladins. Very rarely do we see Paladins in 1v1s because they're so costly. Yeah, seriously. Then at that point with these upgrades... I don't know if the Halberdier numbers are really out there, and that's going to be a castle down for Cobra Car, no question. There's no way for Cobra Car, as he's still raiding, by the way. He killed quite a few villagers, but uh, just don't see a way to really address the Treb problem if you're Cobra Car. Oh man, now jumping in there, Paladin. Still a solid 100 seconds away, though. Only takes four, tries to kill the Treb, but oh, misclicked. It, yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe he still had them on a control group or something. I'm not sure what went down there. But when Paladin comes in with the trebuchets, can Cobra Car stop this? Lions are known for being able to outlast. And even sneaky stables here from Edward Longshanks as he's running in with some of the soon-to-be Paladin. Oh, man. Crazy moves. Left-hand side, X-Men and Cavalier is in as well. What? Only 45 seconds still we see Paladins. What? This is sick. This is sick from Edward Longshanks. This is disgusting, Eco. And the pressure, too. Almost 200 population. 152 villagers, Nilly. My word. Look at these kills. He's everywhere. And Cobra Car has not played a bad game at all. Holy moly. I had so many back T wipes. This this could be one of the greatest games I've seen from him. I think, I think it's backed, dude. I think it's a very backed thing to, to say I'm too lag, you know? Uh, mm -hmm. And pick Franks, which I believe I said three minutes into this game. Also, the fighting of the Drush. There's something about that that I, I, I can't give too, too uh, many specifics, but it was just a feel of mine when I saw it in this game. But I'll tell you what, right now, Cobra Car is, is going to be thinking. He might have a few guesses based on the English if he's going to be judging it like us, but he's going to realize that whoever he's up against is in excellent shape. Absolutely. Oh man, look at all those traps taking down another castle here. Population advantage now over 80. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We've got another castle that will go down, and the GG is called by Cobra Car. If we're speculating on chat, it is all caps, but that's looking too far into it, Nilly. All that we know is that Edward Longshanks had an incredible game. Oh god, impressive, impressive play. And as we mentioned earlier, Islands could still be really good for him. And he has to feel so confident. Played against a tricky strategy. Cobra Car, it it felt a bit like he was playing Aztecs, not Mayans. Yeah, but I really liked how Cobra Car went for the second TC because normally when someone goes forward like that, the defender invests a lot uh, with military to clear it up. But it was Edward Longshanks going to the TC comfortably, which is in the middle of the map. And he was able to keep his eco in a solid state, which was very impressive. So I honestly feel like both players played this really well. It just came down to the positioning in the middle and how how much Edward Longshanks was able, uh, how much damage he was able to get into the enemy eco. In this game, Edward killed 75 villagers and lost only 16. And it's very hard to win games if you lose 75 villagers. I don't care what civ you are or where your castles are placed. Beautiful also, game. This, the second wave of Cobra Car. Another four pikemen, three monks, one mangonel going down without doing anything. Yeah. Yeah, I think um, it also was just such an awkward army comp to control. Maybe the mm -hmm. plumed archers could have come out a bit earlier to help against the Axemen. And then you, you don't see Edward Longshanks to be able to expand to so many areas like he did here. Uh, but yeah, I'm impressed. Let's go back. I did bookmark some moments with Capture Age Pro. Again, guys, make sure to check it out. If you want to use this on your own, you, Capture Age released this recently and happy to debut it in Hidden Cup. I problem for me is there's so many big moments in games. 
am I going to be able to pick the, the best ones? And Nilly, this honestly was a huge moment. 138 population for both. And Cobra Car has his pikeman out of position when he tries to build this castle. If this castle is protected and it goes up, imagine how tough it is for Edward to make a push when there's a castle right next to his TC and castle of his own. Yeah, Cobra Kai had the mindset, okay, I'm chasing down the knights at the left-hand side with my pikemen, but he didn't really, like, he was doing a good job, as we can see here, mm -hmm. but uh, simply three more knights arrived with the mangonel, and that easily denies the castle. Yeah, maybe a bit too risky there. At the time, you know, I, I can understand in his shoes why he might think to do what he did, but it was just Edward Longshanks being in position again, um, and I guess I've got to pause so this doesn't run behind. Here we go. Wonderful. Actually, if you want to see something else here, guys, I don't want to digress too much, but watch this. You can watch that whole thing in reverse. You ever see no a Maganel way. fire backwards or in reverse? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, is it? <laughs> it's, it's seriously, it's one of the most ridiculous things, man. <laughs> 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 oh, here go the villagers. Oh, okay. All right. This is when they go back to the castle. All right. I want to see the castle situation again. <laughs> Nilly, you're doing a great job with the sound effects, man. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, okay, wonderful. Let's look at the statistics for that game. I imagine there will be a huge eco lead for Edward, and Edward with 17,000 wood, 23,000 food, more gold, and a little bit behind on stone, but who needs stone when you have cheap Frank castles, right? So... Uh, looking forward to the next game, Nilly. Uh, let's speculate on the home map picks. Um, I am a little, like, I'm feeling strong backed vibes. Of course, the restore gave us some guesses we wouldn't have otherwise had. Um, but the reality is we saw it. If it were to be someone like Backed or Vivi, one of the players who might not have, I don't know, the strongest English of our 16, you think that they would be island players? Hmm... Typically, no, but I haven't seen a lot of back T games recently. And he maybe had a big plan, right? You see how much there was an emphasis on islands. Yep. But it's like, but islands first, we kind of have to rule out Vivi. Yeah, I think so too. I think so as well. Um, now, it could be a bluff. It would be a masterclass bluff. To, to do what, to have that conversation right there and then make viewers think that they are someone else. But um, that Drop is... the game intentionally. Turn on another download <laughs> to make the game slow down to be allowed to chat. <laughs> so you can't, it can't be too obvious. So you have to lag the game intentionally is what you're saying, Nilly. Okay. Hmm. All right. Well, I know game number two is going to be on Cobra Car's home maps. Um, and... I could see that the first pick was Mudflow, the second pick was Bay. We actually have not seen a Bay game in the main event yet, uh, but seen a lot of Mudflow. So what are you thinking as far as sieves go for this map? Mm, Mudflow feels pretty much like Khmer. And an odd Edward side... Uh, let me think. We have Bay, Japanese, Portuguese, probably Islands, High Tides, Malians, uh, Koreans or Byzantines feels pretty ugly. Uh, probably Koreans, but I'm not excited for it. Okay, Koreans, hmm. It, it feels as though he picked one too many water sieves, and there's only one pure water map. That's my outlook on it, but I'm ready. Mm -hmm. uh, game number two, I just saw the civilizations. Looks like we're going to have possibly another prepared strategy in this tournament, Nilly, which is what Hidden Cup's all about, of course. And uh, here we are. I am so ready for this. Let's see if Cobra Car can respond. Again, with the hero showdown, Cobra Car dominated L Edward Longshanks, and the first five best of fives in this tournament uh, have all gone according to that hero showdown. So Khmer, a sieve we'll talk about nearly beastly on this map, if you ask me, against Portuguese. Mm -hmm. Portuguese. Is that maybe for massive water play? Kind of has to be. So this should be lots and lots of walling. And yesterday, we saw how tough it is to wall this map. Yeah. Um, thank you to Rod92. This was 25 minutes ago, my friend. Thank you for all those gifted subs. Thanks, everyone, for being a part of this. And Nilly, I'm with you. You you see Portuguese a lot on islands. You know how strong they are when it comes to the discount there. 
I haven't seen Caravels against land units too frequently, but that's an option. And so is Laming. And Cobra Car has gone forward to steal a buffalo and is just scouting out where the enemy is. Okay, okay. I don't mind that. As you mentioned earlier, this is one of the few maps where we have those rhinos potentially being at the front. And, well, why not steal two buffaloes if you already had one? Okay. Yeah. Edward takes the one back. Yeah, it was a little sloppy there for Edward, I think, to, to let that one out there after losing the other one. You wouldn't know if he was paying attention, but uh, it's also very important to have your scout on this map and have the HP on it. So with that in mind, I I mean, we did see a rhino lane before. Could always see it again, but I, I don't think we'll see it too, too frequently. Also, the positioning of the players can sometimes be a little hard to pick up on. Sometimes they're, they're not quite where they're positioned currently. But scouting early is, is good, Nilly, and I guess you find your food quick, which I think is the biggest deal. There's only a few water buffaloes. The boars are always going to be close. You know the berries are there, so why not scout? Yeah, I think... It, it should be pretty easy and well the moment you have like three buffaloes they can scout the rest for you yep, yep. maybe take a good look at a spot for your lumber camp but the scout is going into that direction anyways and oh delayed rhino steel delayed rhino steel now edward longshanks has spent all of his time with his scout at home so far and now sees the rhinos on the move and it's a failed lame so it's not mbl confirmed let's see if it's the second attempt nope and now your scout's weak and now you can't take this fight. And now Edward Longshank says, okay, take me back to your people, please. I want to know where you're at. And you can't do anything <laughs> about my scout being around. Yeah, pretty much impossible to lose your scout here if you're Edward, simply because there's so many indicators that the TC is coming pretty soon. <laughs> so Cobra Cup might not even get another hit. 27 HP there. Still reasonable start there for Edward. All right, yeah. So Khmer... Uh, well, in the early versions of this map, which many viewers here have not seen, Nilly, uh, it was probably the best Civ because the fact that you don't need to drop off your farms or food from your farms at mills and town centers. And since you can't farm around the TC, that's a pretty big deal. But we added two berry bushes. We added two boars. You also have the fish to work with and the water buffaloes. So now, while I still like Khmer, they're just one of many strong picks. Uh, do you think, like, how big do you think hopping in houses is going to be on this map? Uh, we did see it on the slopes games yesterday, right? Just ah, putting yeah. houses around. It can help quite a bit. I think on this one, uh, well, I think it's just too easy to get punished by the spearman aggression. You need to have some more walls and that's simply something I don't see on that map. Okay. I've seen a lot of towers on this too. You see someone walls in their wood line and tower the other side, and also docking could be an option. This kind of looks like Edward is going to dock block here. He's going to use this dock as part of a wall and send some villagers to gold, but I could be way off. Yeah, he's got one on gold right now. So two lumber camp, Nilly? Is that what we're seeing? Feels like it, indeed. The villagers are going there. Okay. And interesting that he didn't put the second lumber camp more to the front. Apparently wanted to spread himself a bit more thin. Better against demos, better against forward towers. And now, and now look what Cobra Car is doing. Sending villagers forward, seeing the enemies walling up. Unfortunately runs into the Komodo Dragon, which is a little awkward. And uh, I don't think you need to do that trick anymore, but places the Palisade. So maybe an old school player that doesn't read every single patch note, tries to avoid the opponent seeing that the Komodo Dragon was killed. But, well, line of sight did change some patches to go. First dock going down by Edward. Yeah, so this is a water play. Uh, we've seen water become important on this map, but I've never seen water opening be the way to play it. Perhaps this is one of the counters. Is just, you don't have map control early, I'm going to tower you. And Cobra Car being nice and safe here, even pre-walling the villagers in. Looks like that tower will go up unless somehow Edward notices this and makes he a counter should. tower. He should, no? That's so weird. Maybe you, you intentionally wait to make your counter tower? So they invest more stone into it, but that, I'm with you. A little awkward. Oh, oh yeah, just noticed it. Okay, very late. Okay, now with four villagers and going for the galleys here and only two on gold. So he will stay on galleys exclusively. Doesn't want to mix in any fire galleys. So a reasonable castle age timing will probably follow, but still not even a mill. 
Need their player on stone to make additional towers. Does seem like with this tower, Blue's tower will get shot down. And now there's a galley out here, so you gotta be a little careful, I guess, if you're any villager on the amphibious terrain for Cobra Car. The wood line could be hit right now, and you see the galley coming over. And you could also see these villagers get picked off. Hmm, and just look at how much better the galley is in that situation. You can find other angles, mobile, you can use it against units way better. Plus the scout. And yeah, the costs are so much lower. Plus the scout, and now I mean, there are wood options elsewhere, but they're not quite as big. Cobra Car's got to leave, but now on the flip side, you've got scouts out from Cobra Car. Cobra Car has four scouts. So Edward Longshanks is really going to need some spearmen. Otherwise, everything's going to be raided. At least anything that's open, if there even is a lot that's open. <laughs> ah, and Barracks only at 50%. That's T. Can we pick off the villager? Tries to micro against it. Not the greatest micro by Edward. Felt a bit laggy. Okay. Interesting. So maybe some speculation that these players are far apart from each other. Um, many people thinking maybe backed, maybe Vivi uh, for Edward Longshanks. And Edward Longshanks now trying to take berries. And food is a huge concern right now. Edward Longshanks does not have food to create villagers, Nilly. So, a minute of TC idle time because of the water approach. Ay, 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 ay. And that was a late transition, indeed. Had to pull the villagers, had to build the defensive towers, and that's why he didn't have enough food for the mill. So, one player controls the wood, but other player controlling the food right now. That's kind of funny. <laughs> indeed. Goes on to stone now, Cobra Car, with the doubt mining camp. Really? Oh, that is a doubt mining camp. Okay. It's not the worst doubt mining camp ever, but a lot of players will leave a one tile gap. And there are two spearmen here for Edward Longshanks, but there's also six scouts. I feel like Cobra Car could with, with good micro and oh good quick walls there, Edward. Possibly still trouble. Get hit off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so more well, something for the fans. Oh, look at how clumped up those villagers are now. And Spearman on the wrong side. Can we see a villager pick off? I mean, careful with your numbers here, I think. And, and that probably was not good for Cobra Car. I think there was two scouts there that took hits. And fishing ships? Fishing ships? You gotta make a fishing ship and then a fish trap for food? What a strategy from Edward. What is this? I, I saw that one from Lay, potentially, but with Portuguese? Not fishing ships, people. It's fishing ships. Get it right in a forward range and a tower from Cobra Car. I love this because now you've got the range there to, to produce some units to take out any spearmen. And he's on stone at home, which we, of course, noticed a moment ago. So why not continue to do this? Mm, four spearmen coming over. Only one skirm to defend. Maybe that tower might even be intercepted. That's not enough to That's... deal with all those spearmen. Yeah, and you know what? I, I love the idea behind it, but showing your hand with something that should be a surprise, Nilly. I can give the opponent time to react, and also these villagers are the same villagers as earlier, so they're very weak. Cobra Car's won. Oh, he's gonna fight with the scouts now. Oh, Awkward. Like fighting against four spearmen, though. Pretty tricky. Villagers surviving. Is going back. Defensive tower. Where's his next gold, though? Yeah, his next gold. I mean, there's gold everywhere. But gold is really important if you're trying to make more on water. It's almost like the amount that Edward has on water isn't really doing anything for him now, you know? Does he have vision of the extra gold spots? That's something we have to find out and how easily it will be for him to protect those gold spots at the corner. He's going to scout the south right now. And there's what? Oh, he just missed it. But um, you know, I guess the north is not really an option for him. The right side, not an option for him either. So scouting is huge. And I, I personally would prefer Cobra Car's situation because his eco seems a lot more smooth. And I'd just like to see Cobra Car prioritize getting some wood control by making... Maybe, excuse me, making some navy of his own. Huh. Well, obviously, it feels like you're always having the upper battle, pure HP on your ships, and then the opponent already has some. He has more dogs. But yeah, if Cobra Car is somehow winning the water, he wins the game. Is this tower good? From Cobra Car? Too far away. Yeah, that was why I asked you. Is this perhaps a player who's not really experienced with forwards here? Cobra Car? Hmm. It, the, it wouldn't feel like Vivi, yeah. It's yeah. not. I don't think it's Vivi. Hmm. All right. Well, I mean, the skirms could even pick off villagers eventually. There's nothing out here to count as skirms for Edward Longshanks. 
And his scouts going around here. There's there's some galleys in the middle still, but I'm just curious to see how this develops now. Nearly, as you can see, the wood lines are really a problem if you don't have the middle area. Look at that lumber camp. Oh, and what I hate so much. And I think people have been complaining about this for, I think, 21 years now. Why are top players not fully walling their watchtowers? Yeah, Kubra I don't get it. Could get better down there. Wait, which one? I'm sorry. Are you saying the one at the gold? At the moment, he's not attacking it. Yeah, yeah. But Edward could technically go for that tower, kill it, and get back to his gold. Yeah, I mean, in that case, uh, you're right. It's just a few small palisades, and you're fine. But I think in that case, at least you have the range there to maybe make an archer or two. It's gonna wall in this one awkwardly, I might add. Uh, the spearman just having no opportunity to do anything here. And, and Nilly, I know you're. You were once a math professor, so tell me how Correct. much wood Edward has had to put into what he's doing here for food with the fishing ships and the fish traps. Fish trap costs 100 wood. Five fish traps equals 500 wood. Okay, fishing ship, 75 wood, right? Multiply that by five. That's, uh, I like how you did the easy one. I think that's 375. So 875 wood. Or... Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> oh god 875 wood and even more now to get fish traps out and i just i just don't know if that is is immediate enough compared to something like farms but i i'd sure like to see it work because maybe it's the meta well the economy will be sweet and it's so protected as well yeah. right compared to some wild farms if he was trying to secure the <laughs> berries at the top would cost him so much more. I'm getting so excited. Tell me, Edward. Oh my God. Edward doesn't see the dock. And Cobra Car made a forward dock to make demos. And that wood line, all the wood lines, very exposed right now. Mm -hmm. It's it's Why a high risk, high villages? reward situation. But yeah, I don't know where the vills are going. Uh, he's trying to go for the gold there across the map. Whoa. Well, good scouting at least. Because he still has that scout out there. That will never be found. Right. Oh, those demos. T90. Give me an over under. How many villages will we see dying to demos here? I'm gonna say six. But it could okay. easily be more, depending on where the demo gets. Like the towers are there. You could see some quick walls. I love the scout edition from Edward to mop up the skirms. But the problem is, Cobra Car is on the way to Castle Age. Yeah. It just puts him behind so, so much more when it comes to getting to the next age. And oh! 50 food compared to... Big moment, Nilly! Big moment! Are the demos gonna see anything here? They're going the wrong way! They're going Where are the they wrong going? way! Where are you going? He doesn't know. How does he not... His palisades even show him there's villagers there. Scouts in first. But don't... No! No! Oh, it's coming up! Don't go in with your scouts first, because then the villagers will run, but here come the demos, baby! Stop reacting! And I was not as good as I thought it would be, but still villager kills come in. What did I say? Six? I think there was four or five. We got some action there, Nilly. Okay, four down indeed, and some more idols, but we wanted to see more there. Mm -hmm. The scouts gave it away a bit. Yeah, that was... So that, I think we could even cross some players off of our list here. I don't think Tato ever approaches that situation like that. So, not not Tato confirmed, I suppose. I think Tato waits for a heavy demo. Or not heavy demo, for the demo shit. I was gonna say, I mean, you know Tato better than I do, but heavy demo is a little extreme. <laughs> <laughs> he's not uh, that patient, yeah. Are we gonna see a castle drop, perhaps, from Cobra Car? Because he's got the stone for it. Uh, making knights now. What a weird game. Edward still is not clicked up to the castle age, but does have some scouts that could possibly kill some villagers, and Cobra Car is very exposed. Eco. Heavy mark deals now by Edward. Lots of gates by him as well. And, well, he still has... What is it? Eight fishing... Seven fishing ships working for him. Mm -hmm. Economy? It will be relatively re reasonable. Yeah, I mean, at this point, what I'm thinking oh. is, oh, is Cobra oh, Car going to oh, be able oh. to punish... You're thinking, oh my god, Tristan. <laughs> because look at the blue dot in the center of the map. Demos and fire galleys from one side. And castle drop from the other side. 
Now, this is actually spotted by Edward Longshank's scouts. Edward Longshank should probably make some demos and has some demos in the docks to try and deny this if it's spotted. Can see it. More fire ships. Oh, he will be so cornered. Where is he getting wood? Fire ships are in right inside. Quick gates. Gates. Demos are needed here, Nilly. This will be dealt with, but that means the castle's going to go up. Also, stone gates as well. All right. Feels like this is a tough situation to be in if you're Edward. And, oh, man, even some of the fishing ships are going down. That was so expensive. Oh, and that gate won't do too much. Look at all the idle villagers. Now tries to go for another lumber camp there. Oh, how can Edward hold this? I just... I, I don't know. Don't let the knights in. Don't let the knights in. Oh! I don't know if there is a way, Nilly. Uh, looking at the economy, it's pretty even, but knights and castle drop is so strong. And the biggest problem for Cobra Car was getting access to wood. Now that there's wood control, Cobra Car should be smooth sailing. Yeah, it, it indeed feels like it. And he will have infinite wood control, right? Just mm -hmm. be close to the castle and you're always safe. The knights could easily go for the Palisade Gate. I wouldn't even mind seeing one to Petards. Okay. And we are going to see one or two Petards. Now, we don't have the emo anymore because he removed it for other things. The sad times for the subs who are used to that. But we, we know that Pog Champ exists. We know that Pog exists, so we can see that in chat. And Petards, we will see nearly. I would have actually preferred the Ballista Elephant, honestly. Oh, you're so much smarter than I am. Yeah, the better unit. And... Oh, he goes... From... Oh, he, he is as dumb as I am. <laughs> and, don't call yourself dumb. It's, it was still a good idea. It's still going to work. Don't be so hard on yourself, my friend. But yeah, Ballista Elephant means that you could just take out the trees... And if you take out the trees... That, okay, now he's making a Ballista Elephant. It, it takes some people some time, Nilly. Listen, mm. give it a few more years and you'll come to that conclusion. Uh, maybe the experience one day. Yeah. And knights are in. Quick Vault's not in time. Cobra Car is looking so hot here. Yeah, I mean, Petards also took out the gates too, so... That's stone down the drain. I like how the Ballista Elephant's just here. He he's, was supposed to chop trees and now he's like, what, I have to fight now? Okay. All right, and, and this, of course, should lead to a massive eco lead where I don't think the game should be losable. You look at the score, and you think that Cobra Card's ahead, but not by this much. But really, I think that's because of the water control here for Edward. And Edward just looked like a, uh, a fish out of water on this map. It didn't look like he was too prepared for it. Yeah, has to type the GG. He had a plan somewhat. I think the safe draft kind of forced him into something wild. Okay. It's just so weird. I don't think his second pick being Portuguese was meant to be on that flow. Okay, yeah, that, that's definitely possible and very common in drafting situations. But the score is 1-1 and Cobra Car showed right there that the preparation's there. Kamur is a solid draft pick. I like the way that he approached the, the water play from the enemy. Uh, the forward was actually a good idea. I feel it was instant reaction to make that tower. And scouts and farming was perfect. And and I even, even though it's probably not part of your initial plan, like how he adapted in the mid game to drop mm -hmm. the castle and Nilly, Cobra Car ended that game with one villager lost and killed 25. Yeah, well, obviously a lot of stuff happened there in the end. The demos came in, fire ships, the knights, the ballista defend even helping out. Quite some kills in the end. And yeah, I couldn't agree more. Cobra Car, nice adjustment, not a typical game. I think he probably, in all the practice games he did, never had one where he felt, okay, my opponent is not building any army really. Yeah, yeah. And looking back at these demos, I mean, this was probably where it all started to go wrong for Edward. But I don't think that... I just don't think that that should ever be possible for you or, or against you if you try and go for water play, right? Edward went dock opening and ended up losing more to water than he killed. So uh, certainly not part of the plan, but nice highlight there from that game as we looked at the statistics here, Nilly. Uh, and in the game, the eco was just dominated by the Khmer farms. So I do like them there and think we'll see more of them in the future. Yeah, it feels like potentially banned. Sometimes you play a bit more wild, but Khmer not really getting attacked. Incredible food eco. It's really pretty to play with them. All right, sweet stuff. Well, we go back then. And ladies and gents, we are moving on to game number three with the score all tied up. Now, it's weird. It's kind of weird 
to say that Edward Longshanks didn't look good when playing with water sieves and then say Edward Longshanks has picked Islands as the first home map. However, Islands is very different from Mudflow Nilly. Mm -hmm. um, and so Portuguese is gone now. That's a strong pick. And so what sieve, assuming it is Islands for the next uh, game, which we will know in a second, what pick would you go with? If you're Edward, you're kind of playing against Hans or Malay, most likely against Malay. If you go for Japanese, you're not that scared of the early uptime because killing your fishing ships won't really be an option. So I think this feels like the reasonable choice. Like Front Dog with Japanese, something I would advise him. Okay. Uh, that's pretty cool. Looks like Portuguese is still on our overlay, guys. Uh, that's going to have to get removed, but we'll... <laughs> overlay guy. <clears throat> it's fine. He's got to go to the bathroom every now and then. <laughs> All right, uh, game number three it is. And it is Malay versus Japanese, Nilly. Oh, okay. Well, I like that. Malay can make so much happen on water. One of the more underrated civilizations, certainly considered top seven? Top eight? Something in that ballpark top, on water. Top seven, definitely, yeah. Um, here's something that came to mind when you mentioned it about Japanese. The Japanese are not worried about being rushed too much because their fishing ships are so strong on water. Doesn't that make Japanese possibly the best landing civilization on islands? The fact that their fishing ships can stay alive for so long? Absolutely. And you can fight with small numbers of the fire galley. You can harass. You can survive so well. And yeah, if you want to land, Japanese is probably one of the best. You don't have too much going on when it comes to landing bonuses for yourself, though. Okay. Yeah. Um... So I'm going to run through the bonuses here. There's so many people who are watching Age of Empires for the first time in 20 some years. Thank you to, to everyone who's out there. Also to the people who maybe got their friends to chill out and watch, got their friends interested in the game recently because uh, of the tournament. You guys are all awesome. Battle um, Toaster. <laughs> that's right. Battle Toaster out there. Uh, thank you for that. And um, I'm, I'm pumped to see what develops here, but it is important to break it down. And so Japanese, they have the cheaper lumber camps. Uh, the cheaper mills and the cheaper mining camps, which leads to more wood for docks and then more wood for fishing ships. And then their fishing ships have more HP and are armored. Uh, very hard to kill them. And though that flexibility is really what makes them strong here, Nilly. That and a good tech tree. But what about Malay? What really makes them unique when it comes to water maps? Mainly that they advance to the next age. I believe now... 80% faster, which basically gives you two more villagers on the way to Fuel Age, three more villagers on the way to Castle Age. Either you go for the more eco approach, and then you look pretty strong on that end, mm -hmm. or you try to build a forward dock and just arrive a solid minute earlier and can maybe pressure your opponent quite nicely. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a world of extremes, I guess. Very fast, but you could also use that fast uptime to play more defensive. Uh, fishing also unique to them. Uh, we don't see it too frequently on islands, but it has happened before where if you make fish traps, there's unlimited food with those fish traps. But this is the first time we've seen Japanese Malay on islands. We've seen a lot of Vikings, a lot of Portuguese, a lot of Italians throughout the qualifier in the main event, but uh, fun one here. Yeah, and remember Malay with the endless fish trap? We had a wild, wild game in Fair Sifts Cups. The tournament last year where Malay played by the Viper ended up in like a one and a half hour game and just was relying and defending his fish traps trying to use the market making an endless game it, it they have a bit of Portuguese feeling if it gets hyper late yeah it's just a lot more unique uh, if you haven't seen that one at least on on my channel it's the dumbest islands game of all time <laughs> because it was wild Oh, man, but uh, maybe one of the many games that made Hera hate islands. I know that he was outspoken about him not liking it going into this tournament. Do you think that like, a lot of players gave me opinions, Nilly, when they were casting with me for the qualifier? Do you think to some degree that that was an opportunity for them to maybe deceive all of us and, and say certain things and then do the <laughs> other in the main event? Uh, it depends. I don't think they will come in with a like clear mission. Also, we didn't know all the maps yet. I think yeah. five maps were unknown at the time of the qualifiers. I think it's not like their agenda. Like, okay, now I'm trying to fool everyone and that will give me a huge edge in the main event. Did you hear what Harris said about the Genitor though? 
Well, you mentioned something that he said it's underappreciated and he wanted to play it. And yesterday you said that he wanted to have one in the corner of the map or something? Yeah, so he, so I remember, I think it was Red Bull 2 or something. When Leary won, he said that his prepared strategy was to use Genitors with Berbers. And so then all the Aftermath guys, of course, talking to Leary, uh, Aftermath Tempo, I suppose, started talking about Berber Genitors. So... Um, I think Hera was probably in on those conversations. He did say that Genitors feel underappreciated, but he said specifically that he would put a Genitor in the corner of the map in Hidden Cup 4. And I I think it'd be very dumb for him to live up to his word there. <laughs> um, maybe in the finals. Yep, yeah, maybe in the finals, right? But I just something to keep in mind if it actually happens. It'd be so sick because also that was said publicly in front of 15,000 people. So what if like Vivi... You know, heard word from Yo and just puts a puts a genitor in the corner to confuse us all. Hmm. Have to pick Berbers first. Have to go into an archery range first. Yep. A lot of ifs and uh oh, you did ask me earlier. What do you think about Japanese landing? And at least Edward agrees with you. Hopefully, hopefully he finds the right island. Yeah, I don't see how anyone could find the the incorrect islands, considering the rubbles here. We got rid of that nonsense. Okay, Edward. Just passing the neutral island. That's good to see. And Cobra Car's going for the strategy you mentioned. A relatively fast uptime with Malay to try and win water. I think it's important your buildings, though. I think Barracks at Home makes a lot of sense, which we've just seen. And then don't build it. No, that's so bad. I hate this, Nilly. I hate it when players build their forward buildings. Not that I'm one to talk, but next to the shoreline. Because if... You don't have water control. This could actually be taken out by Navy later on. So I prefer it be in kind of the middle area of the island. Okay. Obviously easier to spot than by random chance by villagers. He didn't really have the greatest vision yet. And that's a strategy Jordan played, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He did it against Capuch in his game number five. He did. Scout now shown. He actually attacks instantly. What? Oh, that was a mistake. I, I think he wanted to get the kill because of no loom. He'll still get it. Doink! Got him. Okay. I I'd say it's somewhat worth it, but now the enemy knows, so you better send in the other scout. And Cobra Car hasn't reacted with a barracks yet. Cobra Car hasn't even walled yet, which is rather surprising. Uh, he's reacting with loom, tries to fight back a bit. Now some more houses. And now the gate. And this is what I mean. The fire ship could take out that stable in time, but we see an archer range for Edward Longshanks, who's... He's playing on a water map here and picked it as a home map. Going for the landing. There's still a hole in the shoreline, Cobra Car. You've got to notice this. You're kidding. Oh, oh, oh. Quick walk the villager at least, or does he? Yeah, I mean, that's impressive, Nilly, but the other villagers are not going to be very fond of that one. <laughs> They'll be pissed at him <laughs> like, Rob, what did we tell Try you to do? <laughs> okay, now they have to do some work on their own. And walling themselves in. Other wood lines still exposed. Builds an outpost first, followed up by the watchtower. Interesting that Edward Longshank sent a fishing ship forward. You see that there in the south? Wait a second. Who was it that docked the enemy's island? I think Me. it was... You did that? Yeah, you yeah. did. Someone else did that too. We know it's not you. That's weird to me, but the fishing ships are kind of fleeing for Edward Longshanks because the water control came in, and I'd say all things considered, Cobra Car's done a good job defending, uh, but we'll need to obviously take more gold as that tower goes up behind the wood line and behind the gold. Uh, also looks, according to chat, uh, defensive tower now, and that's a bit of the problem, right? If you build the forward tower with only two villagers, now two archers joining mm. the party, but... It's likely that the opponent, as the defender, will win the tower war there. Yeah, um, all right, but the villagers are still going to be over here. Defensive archery range for Cobra Car, which is fascinating, but has the fishing ships working. Uh, I also noticed that Edward Longshanks is not completely finished on water, but is being found out here. Repair is very important on both fires. Could swing so heavily here. Repair. Oh, great work there oh. from Edward. Oh, indeed. Their repair felt late, but still refor uh, forces Cobra Car to go back. Now 3v2. And what is looking still up for grabs? Also, fishing ships in the back, Nilly. Fishing ships in the back. So Edward Longshanks has not completely lost water. Japanese power. 
And the transport's still active, so if the transport's active on the back side, which is actually something Cobra Car's thinking of, these units could transport around. Will Cobra Car get this transport ship in time? Oh, Feigeli are pretty solid against transporters. Oh, Let's he's take looking a look. for it. He's looking for it. He just missed it. No, he just missed it, Nilly. What a big moment that could be. And he will land into the gold. Already heard villagers, villagers on the wood walled in as well. And Fletching will finish at the perfect timing. Oh, man. This is exactly what Edward wanted. But I think he should have gone to the gold like you said, Nilly. Gold would have been a good shout there. He did have it scouted. He... Maybe didn't know that the opponent was on that goal. Takes one archer down. How is Cobra Car's reaction? Still fight on water. Water, yeah. And a, a demo, maybe? A demo's cute. The repairs from Edward have really done so much. But these villagers need to repair again. Um, With a demo, that ends up being reasonable, Nilly. There's so much for the players to focus on. The archers are on the move. The skirmishers are here in defense for it. We also have a transport on the way for Cobra Car to maybe take the fight to the enemy island. Oh, a wild one, a this wild game. This is back. There was a pause there. <laughs> there. There's a pause now as well. I'm thinking Edward Longshanks might be Vietnamese plural. Like you said, if it is him, has had an excellent performance so far this series, Nilly. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm and is still making some wild stuff happen and he's so good in those messy scenarios so if he wins this one might make me feel even more towards the back t direction oh the scout not contesting the front enough though yeah the, the scout there on the skirms also very impressive to me it must be so frustrating if you're cobra car because you made the skirms for the archers you made the fire for the transport ship and still you just can't end up finding the spots you want um but it still feels like it's within reach for both players. I just prefer Edward Longshank's eco. He's got so much on food and still fishing in the back of his base. 21 compared to 5 on food. Yep. Just ridiculous. Not really going for the berries here, Cobra Car. That's surprising to me. Yeah, I think it's so crazy right now that he doesn't know what to focus on. They've got idle time. The 5 eco killed. Zero loss for Edward in this game. Didn't lose a single fishing ship. And look at the micro there. Takes out the Spearman. Okay, Spearman. How did that not... Looks like it almost didn't do any damage there. I think a counter landing might be needed here. Oh, uh, transporter already loaded up. Four archers, one scout. Ready to... Please you, Tristan. All right, this would be the time too, right? You got to do it now before the enemy clicks up to the next age. These stats, by the way... Based on over a thousand ranked games we got from all the players. And maybe Nikov confirmed for Edward Longshanks. Um, you know, Fletching Vles and Armor's in. It's a single game. <laughs> Velez and Doubt, they come to play. <laughs> doesn't Doubt have like three kids too? <laughs> Doubt's yeah, like, he doesn't care. He doesn't care. <laughs> Doubt's like, whatever. Dad's working right now. Get out of here. <laughs> 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 Okay, well, defensive tower and defensive archer range now for Edward. And there's still some gaps here to do damage, but it does kind of feel like with only four archers. Well, oh, but low HP, low HP villagers. Look at those villagers getting away, though. Low HP villagers being pulled. High HP villagers finishing that tower. Stone walls, wow. nice moves. That, honestly, sick defense. Sick defense. Um, does he still have the forward villagers alive, Nilly? I've honestly lost track of them. I think they're... Yeah, next to... At least Edward does. Let's okay. take a look. Is he trying to go for the transporter there? Uh, let's repair the transporter. What is he doing? That's so risky. <laughs> you could have just killed the fire ship with your fire galley with oh your archers and repair... Oh, oh! Oh, he tried to save them, Nilly, but they all died. And that would have been such a big one, too. He had scouts in there with some ranged units. Well, finally, Cobra Car feeling good, and Cobra Car still got archers active on the enemy side. Uh oh, this is pretty bad all of a sudden. For archers, still annoying. Pushed away from so many farms, had to invest so much at home. Castle Age timing will be way better for Edward simply because he had to fish for so much longer. Though. I want to see Cobra Car's micro here. Skirms don't have armor. And you know these things are gonna, probably going to die soon anyway. So you want to micro your heart out or run. And okay, he's going to move mm -hmm. along here. He might even find a free fill pick next to the blacksmith. Oh, looks like it. Oh, Nilly, what a game here. What a series. I mean, game one was, was incredible. 
Game two yeah. was a little awkward in, in some ways due to uh, the, the civilization and the strat, but like now we have a dock on the enemy island from Edward. As I, I imagine he wants to make another transport, I don't know, and he could go for siege. The, the possibilities are endless. And now we have a villager from Kovrakar heading right over to Edward's island. More archers arriving as well with it. And what are you building there? Are you Stable. building the siege workshop? Stable? Stable would be sick here because he only has defensive skirms. I think a stable would do wonders. Even a stable at home for cheap elephants with Malay? Oh, baby. Yeah, it's like, uh... it's like, hey, man, I meant to pick Magyard, but uh, here I am. And in Castle Age now is Cobra Car. Okay, what are we focusing on? Crossbow, probably Botkin, indeed. The villager has to run. I'm not sure if that stable is going up. Mm, I don't think so either, and that could be a big denial there. Elsewhere, he got some uh, fires. It looks like Red is switching back on the water control. He's got fires in the middle, Nilly. This is quickly becoming one of the best games we've seen so far in Hidden Cup 4. This is crazy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, last set of yesterday was having some great ones as well. And the Skirm somewhat lost track of those crossbows. Gate, not in time either. All right, Stone Gate defense there from Edward. Micro, crazy from Cobra Card. And really doing a good job. And the stable is probably going to complete so elephants can show up too. A Cobra car with this micro is bringing himself back into this game. Uh, decides to go for knights. Knows, okay, against monks, my elephants might not be the best choice ever. And, well, we see Cobra car even adding another TC at home. Wow. Feels comfortable. Edward going for the same. Yeah, uh, adding the TC. If the TC goes up, the forward villagers die. So there is a difference there because... Now, Cobra Car has villagers on the enemy island. It also feels like Cobra Car's water situation sounds as if he's lost it despite not having ore galley, which he's now researching. So, I would say Cobra Car has the lead, but it's not like a massive lead by any stretch. And Edward is also going for the second TC, like you said, and this might still go late somehow. Yeah, flips like an even game. There were some tries, both players defended pretty well. And we go into a stable game, and then we have to ask, like, who is in the better spot if we get to late game? I, I, I guess... Malay? Uh, if we get to Harbors, probably, right? Yeah, I mean, we just haven't seen a lot of it, Nili. Malay, very tough to kill off, which can become the strategy sometimes on islands, as we see a good micro from Cobra Car in the middle. Is it just me? Or is Cobra Car, we've been talking a lot about Edward Longshanks because our guesses um, have been narrowed down a little bit, but there's not enough chatter about who this Cobra Car player might be. It's really sick. Hmm. It just feels solid. Let's think about it. It was the wild strategy with Mayans early on on Arabia. Then we had the Khmer play that looked really good. And now crisis management absolutely on point. Could be Veles, could be someone like ACCM. Yeah. And I don't get Dogao vibes. Getting Dogao vibes. We are missing some eco upgrades here, but now I just say that we're seeing Wheelbarrow. Oh no, man. I mean, it is so tough in Hidden Cup 4 because everyone's so good. Maybe just one or two players that come to mind for people if, if like, you know, someone's having a rough day. Um, but even then, like, we didn't see anyone get 3-0'd until today. Uh, Valio seemed very strong, so it wasn't as if the player was weak against him, and we have knights well, and crossbows okay. here. Got 3-0'd. What's that? After leading 2-0. <laughs> Fleo got 3-0'd after leading 2-0. That's, that's one way to put it, I suppose. Landing at the right-hand side. Two knights, two crossbows. Should find some kills. Yeah. It was so funny to see some of the phrases from chat. I couldn't pay attention to it when casting, but I watched some of the VOD. People mm -hmm. were saying like, "Nope for Pope." There's there's hope for Pope. <laughs> it was it was great, um, but yeah, Pope Leo out now, and that was the best series so far in the round of 16. And I, I like how little military this is from Cobra Car, but how much it does. But I say that as he loses the crossbows. Yeah, maybe Leo should have built some more pikemen yesterday. It was yeah. a lot of like Pope Leo and not enough Pope Leo. Wow, I see what you did there. You know, I actually thought of a specific game where Pope Leo could have used Pikemen. 
and and now you know i just i kind of want to just bash my head against the wall so appreciate the uh appreciate the the change of direction with that nilly and we've got a forward castle for cobra car this is rather early right normally you're doing this if you don't have water control normally you see this if you want to redock but it doesn't hurt to have a castle up on the shoreline that's for sure Harbor tech is the castle tech, so maybe he just wants to get some more control and then it becomes tricky for Edward to get landings in, mm -hmm. to get more control, and you're kind of building army while building docks. I think Edward's in a weird spot now where he's got so much on his island that he can't use. He's got skirms, knights, crossbows, some monks. I, the monks actually could could do very well here and big demo oh my god that was an amazing demo that was huge right as i'm saying he's falling behind on water he lands that demo shot and now he has now he has an opportunity to transport this over nearly big oh, moment oh, tr transport if we had harbor that could be intercepted right and castle, castle maybe Ooh. Ooh, no ballistics no ballistics the knights show up and cobra car's got to be like i thought it was finished with this thought I dealt with this, man. He doesn't have a TC over here or anything, so now he's got a quick wall and bring crossbows over. Yeah, uh, two palisades will only stall a little bit, but yeah, crossbows should be fine. Stone gate coming in. Ah, Cobra Car should be fine. Look at that sanctity by Edward. What is that play? I mean, he's going to wall in that stable now, by the way. He's also going to bring over the monks. Yeah. The monks and two more skirmishers. Okay. I mean, Sanctity is huh. not the most expensive upgrade, so I guess he just wants to have his monks, with, you know, get him a bit chunkier, but doesn't feel like he can accomplish too much. I almost would have liked to have seen him transport a villager again, maybe go for a siege workshop, but see the Malay player on the way to the Imperial Age right now. Oh, let's take a look. Crossbow needs to micro back. Monk charging up. Ah, do we even want to add some karambits here against the monks and skirms? Um, Knights are down. Maybe, yeah. I think falling back to the castle was the good play there. And now Edward's distracted, so he's going to lose these monks. And yeah, this has this been put to an end. Um, I love how the monks are getting conversions, though, for Edward. But the castle's just huge. You can't really take out these docks now in Cobra Car, realizing this is island, so let's control everything. Uh, on water and, and we have another transport from edward with five <laughs> villagers to go back to the original spot what in the world man okay but what valuable resources do we have there not too many he can oh. use the stable and the archer range though he's gonna castle the middle island and that's pretty risky right now because the upgrade should be coming in for cobra car but if that goes up it cannot be trebbed easily from cobra car's island and it hmm. gives him an excellent position to dock and mass some of his own units. Maybe you saw on YouTube that this island seems to be very valuable. Yeah. I mean, it's certainly popular on YouTube, so... Good work. Uh, ballistics uh -oh. now. players seeing the same YouTube video! <laughs> <laughs> the Cobra car! I like how they noped out of there. The transport was also very weak. He's also trying to send a monk over there to get that relic, and that's another thing that, that can definitely pay off long term, is getting the relic control, as I'll switch over to that now, the bottom left. Cobra car without ballistics. Ew. Really has to get that one at some point. Seeds all his bolts missing, so he feels very natural to find that out eventually. He's an imp, by the way, just in case people didn't realize. And he does not have Bracer. He does not have Galleon. Oh, okay, now he's got it. But it took some time there. He was an imp for a long time. Yeah, well, that's the thing with melee, right? You reach imp, and suddenly you have 40 wood, 60 gold. Yeah, I know. Pretty crazy, and, and Edward has boomed more effectively here, more efficiently, and will try and drop a castle in the south, and also just cleared out the fishing ships from Cobra Car that have been fishing freely on the right side. Still fishing ships for, for Edward. At this point, farm eco is most important, but starting to like Edward's position yet again, Nilly. This has been all over the place, this game. Hmm. With all those fish and ships, it feels like a British player. <clears throat> Uh, sorry, I, I, uh, you were muted for a second. I'll, I'll get your input on what's coming up next here, Nilly. I guess you gotta make some knights, or maybe make some skirmishers to deal with these crossbows. And you know what's really bothering me is all the red dots inside of Cobra Car's ego. I yeah, wish he'd make a ram. Times. 
I, I checked so many times, like, oh, another landing. No, it's still the same palisade walls from earlier. Yeah, there's actually a knight here, too. And even a tower's being made there from Cobra Car. I, I don't know what he's worried about, to be honest, but... The knight goes in, alien. and the knight is going to take out the monk, too? That's so annoying. How's the monk not converting back? I don't know. He's not... He's, uh... He's still in, uh... He's not on a mission. Um, you can tell I don't, yeah, uh, you know what, we'll just move past that point. Big moment in the middle, Nilly, as we see a castle attempt from Cobra Car. Both players having upgrades, except chemistry is missing for Cobra Car. I don't think this is good for Cobra Car. He doesn't have the numbers. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, transporter, not enough HP there to buffer. What is that? Eight galleons over oh. each other, but that's not enough. And now the transport's gone, so the people and the treps can't be saved, Nilly. So this is huge. Ay, 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 ay. Did he really need to land that early? He didn't really have the numbers there. Overall military 15 to 29 right now. The Doubt Castle. It's a failed castle. And with the way that, that Cobra Car has played this, I think many names come to mind, but maybe that one right there was not at the front of people's minds. Memes aside, of course. Um, the Eco seems stronger for Edward Longshanks. Edward Longshanks has more on water and has dealt with any landing. And now, can treb down that castle foundation and Cobra Car taps out. Edward Longshanks wins on islands and what a game, Nilly. Uh, kind of what we saw before in the draft that it looked really good for Edward Longshanks, but Cobra Car, creative play, made it wild. In the end, maybe a bit impatient and it is so tricky to play Malay. Yeah. yeah, they feel strong, but your ego always feels weak. Yeah, I feel the big issue for Cobra Car was there was a moment there where he was ahead on water and he wasn't able to capitalize and continue with the numbers. There's something about it. Um, and Edward Longshanks also with huge demo shots too to catch up when the, when the time was needed. I do have a few moments to look back on here. I'm, I'm getting more and more used to looking back at crucial moments with his Capture Age Pro. Which, by the way, the very least... Check out the free version of Capture Age uh, when you guys have the chance. There's also a link below the stream for Capture Age Pro. But um, now here, you could see these archers moving around, Nilly. And in this moment, you know, this was something that did start the uh, the road to victory, I think, for Edward. He gets in on the wood line. Cobra Car suddenly reacting. He thought he had dealt with the side with the tower. And then you know, villagers started to go down. Uh, and I just continued to move along because we've got a lot of points to remember here. And then there's this one as well where Edward's like, we've got this. We've got this. We're going to do it. Maybe not the biggest highlight, I guess. Well, the repair could have been an option, but yeah. So much going down. Sixth population going not to do any more damage. Nice pickup for sure. Yeah. Also, I really want to look at this real quick. Watch this, guys. Watch this. Never before seen in Age of Empires. Oh. <laughs> All right, and then uh, the bigger moments, I think, were later on, right? This is the point where the game is pretty even, and I think this is where that demo comes in. Yeah, right now, you're looking at seven fires against eight, and this is where I'm thinking, at least in this instance, Cobra Car has the numbers. And big demo, and look at the difference there. It was three or four fires against seven or eight. The demo was perfectly timed. And nearly Edward Longshanks is confusing me because I... I think Edward Longshanks is backed. I would never expect the island's home map pick there, but whoever it is, the execution has just been insane in some of these situations. Yeah, keeping the fish alive was so good, and then reproducing, redocking in the back just was a big backbone of his whole economy. Yeah, more wood, more food. They're interesting that Edward Longshanks had less stone and gold and still ended up getting that win. Uh, you think wood... And gold would be the priority. Maybe wood was the issue for Cobra Car. Some of his... He had trouble expanding on his island, so that could have been it. Well, also went for some skirmishes as the defense and didn't go for that many fire ships. Had the galleon masses and fewer traps, I believe. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's go back. And there's been a lot of this throughout Hidden Cup 4 where players prepare home maps. They win on those home maps. And then it's can they win the opposition's home map and for the first time in hidden cup 4 main event we will actually see bay uh, that will be upcoming and, and nearly give me your thoughts on the civilizations that could be strong for this upcoming map 
Well, technically, Japanese is considered to be one of the good ones, but we did see them here, and that's why we were so confused with all the Sith picks there by Edward Longshanks. Strong civilizations, Lithuanians, Mongols, two civilizations we both see on Cobra Cars side. Mm, so okay. I, I get Game 5 feelings. Yeah. Hmm. The Cobra Car... I mean, I, I just prefer the draft so much more <laughs> based on what we've seen. I've seen Lithuanians dominate. I think they had the best win rate in the qualifier or something stupid. Mongols historically have been good on Bay, and I'm just looking at Edward Longshanks. Malians maybe is his best option? Hmm. Byzantines probably because you are performing really well in the Fire Galley, be Fire Galley fight. And, Early yeah. Imperial Age is an option. So I think I played with Byzantines quite a lot. Who was the player who went Byzantines in the qualifier, Nilly? Do you remember? Wasn't it Nikov? I didn't the Max play? I think... Oh, no. Was it Kapoc against Jordan as well? No, that was Persians against Mongols. Mm, okay. Uh, Nikov, I know, went forward. He went forward with Byzantines. Four villagers, and it was against Fire's Mongols, I believe. But anyways, I've seen the civs, so mm -hmm. uh, we, we will have one of those civs spot on. Uh, and I'm rather excited, and perhaps this will lead to some guessing on who the players might be. But, and again, it's, it's not like you know, all the players don't know the potential for the civs. So, here we have it, game number four in this best of five. And thank you, everyone, for being here. This has been an incredible time, and it only is just starting, of course, with the quarters being all day Saturday, the semis and the final being on Sunday. Uh, this map we call Bay, and if you're new here, my viewers are going to call it Pants because they think it looks like a pair of pants. It's a little wide for a pair of pants, but maybe it's their mom's pants. I don't know. Uh, but, Neely, we've got Byzantines for Edward Longshanks. Another pause for Edward Longshanks. I just, I just get backed vibes over and over <laughs> and over again. <laughs> and then Cobra Car has gone for one of the more unique civs in our game in Lithuanians. He hasn't even finished the lumber camp yet. Well, mm, well you're trying to okay. go for the wood as long as possible. And yeah, I just love this map. Let's call it Pants, where all the action happens below the belt. Right, so this is, this is what we need to think of. So Lithuanians, they've got Paladins long term. However, Paladins can be countered by Byzantine. Albadiers, they can be countered by Byzantine cheap camels. Uh, I can go down the list of Lithuanian strengths of any Civ strengths, and normally Byzantines are going to have the counter to that. It is what makes Byzantines a fan favorite. It's just a Civ of options and very cheap counter units. But Lithuanians can get a big lead here, and it's with this build order because you start with so much food. You can chop wood at a time the enemy cannot. And with this build, you should have a two or three population lead going up to Feudal Age nearly. Um... What are you thinking with Byzantines? Do you contest that with the faster working fires? Or do you go YOLO like we saw from Nikov in that one qualifier game and perhaps go forward? Just giving up all the water is not an option. You have to contest the water for sure. And well, that is one of the bonuses of Byzantines. So I think we will see some contest there for sure. People kind of agreed nowadays that two dog play and then going into land seems to be the optimal way of playing this map. Okay, great. Yeah, I've gotten opinions from people on Byzantines. Many people feel like that Byzantine forward is strong. But I think in particular, as we, these guys are really pausing a lot here. <laughs> um, I think in particular, where Byzantines thrive is probably against Mongols, which is a common pick here. Here you have uh, Edward Longshanks finishing off that boar there with the TC. By the way, there's been like... Yeah, there's been like three people who've used the four villager approach. So apparently my research on all that was way incorrect. Um, but yeah, just to complete my thought here, with the stones being forward, it's not a big deal for Lithuanians, right? Mm, I don't think so either. It's, it's mainly like knights, maybe skirms, depending on the army. Like laters aren't that important. I don't think we will go into massive trap wars early on. Yeah, yeah. And more than 3TC play early on isn't needed. So I don't think that's something too easy to punish. Okay. Interesting to me how we have Koreans and what is it, Malians? 
as the remaining mm -hmm. Civ picks. And high tides, right? So Malians feels very reasonable. Yeah. And Mongols probably for Cobra Ka. Yeah, if it gets to game five, of course. Uh, here we've got some fan zone. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, thank you for that, Ducks. But you can see the bonus for Lithuanians paying off already. Could could you read that fan zone message, please? Nine. Okay. Sorry. But yeah, three eco lead, at least on, or sorry, two eco lead, about to be three possibly. Uh, about, yeah, never mind. Two fishing ships on water. Uh, do you notice that Cobra Car is not really weakening the boar with the town center? Hmm. Well, lots of editors under it, so maybe not needed here, but yeah, something we clearly need to take a look at. Now garrisoning into the TC to drop off the food, something that some pros try to avoid as well. Something that I think we wouldn't see from the Viper, for example. Yeah, okay. Some might argue you also wouldn't see Viper 2-1 down, but there's been instances where that happens, and we don't know who's playing. Just because it's round one doesn't mean that big names can't face each other in Hidden Cup. And yeah, this build order is all about winning the water, and I think it will be the same for both players. Cobra Khan, not the best build-up. Look at that 23 seconds idle TC time. Mm -hmm. Huh, that should have... Cut out there a little bit, Nilly, but yeah, I don't think that should ever happen. And Edward Longshank sees, maybe confirms his suspicions and says, all right, I know you're there. And could try and annoy the villager. Oh, that's amazing. Because you don't actually want to attack there because you don't want to lose scout HP, but you can act like you will. That's a player with confidence right there, Nilly. Okay. Oh. What? What? My PC, complete PC froze. Oh. I'm surprised that you are here. Oh, hi. Well, it's all right. You can, you know, Dave once casted an entire game without actually seeing it because his game crashed. So we could just chill here. Can you still hear me? Yeah, I can hear you fine. And now my game is, <laughs> it's looking really funny. <laughs> I'll, I'll, try, I'll try to set off stuff. <laughs> all right, no Luckily, worries. This stuff I'll just ask you game theory questions, you know? like. <laughs> I mean, like, Nilly, how do you think these situations shape up? That's all the stuff I do anyways. So, uh, double bid axe coming in for Cobra Car. This is standard stuff. And two fire galleys coming out. And it should be similar for Byzantines. Now, Byzantines have extra HP on their docks. Uh, and that only... Uh, all their buildings, right? And that only gets stronger throughout the ages. So, some wall off and some water play. And not too much else right now. Uh, scouts are active. And Cobra Car actually has the weaker of the two scouts. Engagement will come in here, Nilly, and we'll see what happens. It is four fishing ships versus three. Uh, normally, you want to repair a villager near the shoreline, so I'm rather surprised that's not happening right now for both of them. Yeah, that's indeed untypical. It's just so easy. Sometimes it's the villager building the houses there. Now he pulls another one, that being Edward. And oh, look at that. Cobra Car, he's scared of land aggression. Goes for Town Watch. Hmm, Town Watch early. Did, was that because Cobra Car got housed or because... No, it doesn't look like you pop capped. Just I, scared. I wonder, as the scout goes down for Cobra Car, which might lead to some paranoia, because now he can't confirm if the enemy's going for land or anything, but I wonder if possibly playing against Byzantines makes you think you're going to be forwarded because of what people did in the qualifier. Hmm, well, I think makes sense, but most of the time you just go for a barracks yourself, and the moment you get, like, two skirms out, you should be fine. Big engagement now, no demos! No demos, but the repair is here, and Cobra Car needs to drive away, and now you should start seeing demo. And yeah, here is a demo. And swing these fights so heavily, and oh, boom, that was amazing, oh my god! That was it amazing. Didn't get the kill spot. That was like 250 damage or something. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you gotta imagine there's a demo on the way for Edward, too. So you have to be very careful not to get too aggressive here. Cobra Car! And ouch! Wasn't as big a highlight, but important nonetheless, Nilly, as uh, another demo comes forward. People in chat are loving this. They come to see action. This is This is as much action as you could expect in the early game. More repairs now, continuing. Actually, even collecting some stone here was Edward Demo. <laughs> trying to sneak some damage. <laughs> he didn't know where to go. <laughs> <laughs> that Demo was so confused. He's like, guys, guys, which one do I choose? Go left, go left. Oh, no, go right, go right, uh, left. Yeah, pretty much, man. Uh, and 
it, it it's definitely at that point now where you start to see that land transition. So without even looking, I imagine there's a barracks. Yeah, there's a barracks there for Edward. Crazy walls. And uh, so I don't want to look away from the middle because it looks like Edward is also in, an up, in a spot to maybe take out the fishing ships. We... Oh, we don't see a barracks for Cobra Car yet. Fascinating. Demo mount relatively low now. Some more queued up. Village are going down as the repair there. Is this at a point where Cobra Car can be happy with the amount of food he's brought in, though? Just try and take out the enemy fish from here on out? Hmm, well, that's not even guaranteed, right? Yeah. Because it's so easy for the Byzantine player to defend. One more fire galley, one more demo in the queue. Yeah, I'm just curious because if you look at the approach, there's a lot of farms. Uh, he has a lot on berries and he has 400 food banked. So at least based on the food, it almost looks like Cobra Car wants to just get towards Castle Age and is happy with the amount of food that was brought in. You've got, still I'd say quick maths here and I'm horrible at that, 600 food in the middle. Archery range for Edward. Uh, nothing going forward, but Edward does have the scout. If you're looking at the score and wondering why the score is so high for Edward, because Edward has the scouting. You see the fog of war difference on the mini map right there. Massive difference. And I think Cobra Car is probably worried. Like, he does not know what could come in. Only now the stable and the blacksmith castle age timing will come in there. But honestly, this is so greedy. It's. Uh, he doesn't know that. Four archers aren't showing up at his window now. No. And it, it's also, do you think it's a surprise when you're down 2-1 in a best of five to not have walls? I feel like every player would have walls down on the front by now. Uh, well, if you lose water, walls aren't that important, right? You need to rewall the full backside. Yeah, yeah. So Cobra Car is cutting some corners here. This is ooh, quite a risky play. Okay. Yili. <clears throat> I have a sneeze. <laughs> That's just, it's on the way. So, Apologies to you and viewers in advance. I'll try and mute. I think it's, it's been teasing me. Okay, I think we're good. Sorry, I'm just, uh, I'm allergic to salmon. I don't know if you knew that. Oh, no, I didn't. Yep. Oh, my God. You're kidding me. Villager forward? You are as blind as a bat here, Cobra Car, and you're going forward with a villager. Mm, well, just tries to take the game in some control. Demo made it out. Is he trading off only against one fishing ship? That is not enough. No. I get the logic. He's probably hoping to get two or three at a time. But Edward's not over-investing into water. He's just got a few. He's happy with that. <sighs> I think Cobra Car did like four demos now? Yeah. That killed one fishing ship? Maybe That's excessive. not enough. I think I would have just given up there. Uh, like, if this... This bothers me so much. This is so Should risky. And against happen, Byzantines, yeah. you get Town Watch for free with Byzantines, so he could see that. Why would you be there already? Like, I get running forward if you have a knight in a minute, but that is... That's a dead Ooh. villager right there. Stonegate, even. That's an interesting choice. Hmm. So, denies himself from getting the 3 TC boom quite quickly. Okay, Lots so... of farms. The strategy that we didn't see often, but that I actually loved, was playing a relatively fast Imperial Age with the Byzantines, Byzantines after this. Yeah. I think it could work out well, but against Lithuanians, you probably want to spend your food in a few camels, right? Like, a mm -hmm. few stable yeah. units can be so nice. Having the scout alive to snipe any monks and then having some camels out against knights could be strong. And, okay, Cobra Car snipes that scout. What about a transport in this spot? Just transport right over to Cobra Car's base. Well, it's still open, right? How much are you really saving? You're saving maybe 20 seconds of walking time. Mm -hmm. I don't mind it, but wouldn't be necessary if you want water. Yeah, just like this, Cobra Car can run around. It's the same on the other side. And Edward Longshank's preparing for this. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's a frustrating one to see. But I don't think the scouts have too many upgrades here. They don't have any upgrades, so... We should probably end up just running away. Uh, but they're staying here. And now we have a palisade gate. It's weird to me how we had a stone gate. And then there you get a palisade gate. Palisade would have made sense in both instances, if you ask me. 
Alex was scared of more attack apparently there with the extra villager cobra car behind this 3tc boom something we won't see from edward and he saw those scouts without any upgrades mm. so he probably should know that cobra car is more on the boomy side yeah seeing the scouts and not seeing upgrades tells you everything that you need to know but it's a little awkward for edward right now because i'm not seeing a big push out and if Cobra Car is able to boom and get some relics, which is all you want to do with Lithuanians. I could see the farming co maybe getting to a point where the knights can start to mass. It'll be very strong, and still you've got no real counter coming in from Edward. Hmm, knight can't do much against the fire galley either. I even prepared a demo. I love that. Oh really? Oh, that is that is nice, yeah. Just in case. But two TCs, Nilly, and it's not super unrealistic to see Byzantines still go up to Imp a lot faster with all the production here. It's so cheap for them. Oh, uh, that's that's a big question, right? I see maybe collecting some stone then wants to go for a third TC. At the moment, Edward Longshan Shanks plays really safe. Has water, goes for all the counter units, mm -hmm. doesn't boom too much. Monastery as well. I think he feels he is in a good setup if he goes it if it goes for long game. Yeah, I wonder if possibly the score is influencing that a little bit. Like you see the score and you think you're really far ahead, but that's because you have some water there and because you've scouted 50% more. Mm -hmm. um, Cobra Car not going out with relics. You know, it just seems real greedy to, to be booming without any military control. But there is a defensive siege workshop with three scorpions, which is honestly perfect. Huh. Uh, he he's cutting some corners and at the moment he's not getting punished if he gets the relics he has to be super happy no two relics kind of close to the base or one to the base each time and three on the belt area mm -hmm. yeah and he's using a scout or a knight even to look for those relics and here comes edward and edward sees the scorpions and edward knows it can't be anywhere close to that this is where a lot of players go for forward siege nilly Mm, yeah, I wouldn't mind. Villagers being sent, even two. And Scorpions won't do well against Maganels. Mm -mm. And this is honestly the perfect reaction from Cobra. He's realizing that Maganels would be strong. So now he's going to add a second stable and start to make some knights. And this is where that farming eco is at a point where you can start to really see the knight numbers come out. This is a really good game. Four monks. Lithuanians? I think. Oh, look at that. Sanctity in the queue. I wouldn't be surprised if we get redemption here. Hmm, redemption, defense, an option. Maybe he's looking more towards castle defense because he's got villagers on stone. He doesn't have that many on gold, but that number should rise. And, I mean, you've had 18 kills, 9 deaths in this game. Better for Edward, but economically he is a little bit behind here. And the Lithuanian player is starting to get some of the relic, but there we go. Villager pick. But now the crossbows are separated from the camels, which is a bit of a problem. Mm, conversions to the left-hand side starting pretty soon. Now getting in range. Oh, can we get away? One that conversion. Was, yeah, one conversion. It could have been worse there. What about the vill, though? The siege workshop. Oh, the villager gets converted. Now the siege is not going to be here. And wow, Cobra Car's position, not too bad. This is going to be a long game. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your thoughts on that because I'm seeing Edward patrolling the middle area. He knows how important that belt region is for the relics. Well, uh, like no one is really getting siege out. No one is We're looking into him. I wanted to say, but Edward can actually click pretty soon. He only mm -hmm. needs some a second building that it actually is denied. Now rushes the university in the back while we see Cobra Car. Probably trying to make something happen in Castledge. Gets bloodlines now. Maybe some more attack. Edward will need to defend. What do you think about how Edward made camels? And then he, he didn't get many upgrades on them. I remember Doubt giving Jordan a hard time about that. One of his games. But it just led to Jordan getting a better Imperial Age time in the qualifier. Which ended up winning him that game. Hmm. Well, let's take a look how this one plays out. Obviously, Paladin would be a lovely unit. You mentioned earlier, Byzantines, they have an answer to everything. They do. But never the strongest unit ever. Yeah, yeah. Good point. But Arbalest is, is a pretty strong thing to open with an imp, regardless, right? <gasps> Why are the camels? Why are the crossbows so exposed? Crossbow's very exposed here. And if he wants to go Arb, he's going to hate his life here. Now, Chain Barding isn't in yet. 
So the knights could honestly get whittled down now that the camels are here. The crossbows are trying to back away. I think this fight is... <laughs> now the conversions come in, I think the fight's better for Cobra Car. So much better. Edward yeah. losing all the army shortly before he reaches him. He wanted to upgrade those, as you said, was looking to upgrade them to Arbalest, while Cobra Car was still searching for damage in Castle Age. Wow, that was such a weird moment. And to the relic joint. Click Imp, Nilly. You click Imp, and then you just stay in the middle. I feel like you've always got to play passive in Cobra Car. says, forget about passive, baby. I'm a cheat code, and it's going to drop the castle right on that stone. I love that castle spot. And where are you getting wood pretty soon? The wood at the bottom is running out here for Edward. That castle will be really aggressive. Crossbow numbers not that high. Oh, man. And, and economically, since Cobra Car has three TCs pumping, you'd expect that the vill count's going to be higher. When the castle goes up, the crossbowman will actually get ranged. So they need to back away from that choke right now. And they do so, Nilly. But Imp will almost be in for Edward Longshanks, which still, in my mind, thinks that despite everything that's gone down, he, he's got a good chance. Edward's eco is so bad. Look at that 17 on food. He wants to have Bracer. He wants to have Arbalest. He wants to have Chemistry because he can't afford a castle. He wants to go for Bombard Cannons, oh, but that's so costly from scorpion, here. Scorpion, 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 Scorpion! Oh, that was, that was pretty pathetic there. That would have been a great time to get value. What scorpions? Yeah, they're, they're gone now, man. You almost need to stay at home if you're Edward. You can't even counterattack because knights and rams could wreck your eco. Uh, nice quick vault here. Edward is on the defending side. Do you think Cobra Car should add some skirmishes himself? I, I honestly feel like a lot of players in this position as the monks go down, which is really bad. I think that you could justify full on knight. You've got, if you have 20 knights right now, you can hit 14 Arbalest. And the quick walls fail. And here come the knights. And this is the problem for Edward. He's now left his base and he doesn't have protection. Oh, so many villagers are dying here. And yeah, in the back, so many isles forced as well. The market has stopped. And where is he getting gold now? Only five on gold. So much idle. Solid population lead for Cobra Car. Yeah. And I, we've seen many times where losing your knights isn't that big of a deal if your eco is strong enough to make more. That's the key here. As long as your mm -hmm. eco is strong enough to make more. The 29 farmers is a little worrying for me, to be honest, Nilly. I feel like a lot of players would be way above that. He's even losing farms. Does he not have... Okay, I, I don't, I'm not really sure, but still, it would, despite losing the knights there, 20 villager lead and, and continue to at least ram down the ranges and put on pressure. Ah, uh, Cobra Car. He wants to do more pressure, but look at the waypoint for his stables. Way too far in the age. back, in my opinion. Oh, yeah, it's like in the middle right now. He also only has two relics. And he's stuck in Castle Age. So, I guess the big thing for Edward is maybe switching into some pikemen. Go cheap pikemen with, with arps. And just counter? Mm -hmm. you, you can't do anything about the castle, which sucks. You've got to try and find stone elsewhere to the left side, but... Uh, a bombard the cannon? Econ the economy isn't there for harbardiers. Yeah, oh, that's true. out on the field. They have to be micro Knights right. are jumping. Knights are going to jump here. They do have extra attack with Lithuanians. Can Cobra Car surround here? If you take this out, Nilly, you should be sitting pretty back at home. And this is a decent fight for Cobra Car. Oh, he has to be so happy. That buys him endless amount of times. Wow. And now Pikeman's clicked, but 17 on food. This is both, like, the power of the fast imp and, you know, getting to Arbalest, but you're also seeing the weakness of it when you don't have enough to back it up and when someone all-ins you. Perfect approach from Cobra Car. Oh, look at that amount of rams and wisely now going for the barracks instead of the archer range. He knows, okay, I can take fight against Arbalest. The only way my pressure ends is if you can tag two harbardiers. Yeah. And another castle on the other side, and that would stop the Arbalest from moving out entirely, uh, but also deny that gold. But he doesn't have the numbers there, Nilly. That could be a throw move. He's got to be very careful. There's pikemen in the barracks. Never mind, the castle goes up. 
Uh, 60% there. The moment you send the army away, you know that you are losing some more villages at home. Knights? Ah, a bit carelessly used now, though. Yeah. I mean, I'm starting to, like, skirm more and more. Um, uh, but I, I just... I, I just don't know if I've ever seen a game quite this unique. Like, Edward is just... It's just stuck back here, man. Look at these refreshing little lumber camps. There's no wood control. Yeah. Maybe another reason why why getting Bodkin Arrow for the castles and, and skirmishers would be good. But then again, that's a lot of food. He only has 41 on food. I say only, but I feel like he, with this much time, should have more farms than that. Oh, if we if we look at home, the eco looks really solid. Didn't really expand more towards the top, surely. And oh, look at that. Villagers trying to sneak away at the left hand side. <laughs> That's a big moment there too, because watch with that trap from Edward. He'll actually will sentence these knights to death. And he'll get that that TC up on the stone, which means you can might get to an eventual castle. More like trap ward long shanks. That was a little bit of a reach, Nilly, but I appreciate the effort. Thanks. <laughs> I'll take it. Can, can we talk about these ranges, man? They're still on fire. Oh, man. And there we go. Cobra Car maybe took his foot off the gas a little bit. Cobra Car is going to maybe put it into second or third gear here in Imp Nilly. Do you switch to Skirms? You've seen the enemy has Pikemen and Arbalest, or do you, with this economy, with three relics now, comfortably just go for Paladin? It just feels like skirms are so good. You can dictate the fight so well with the Lithuanians since they're walking fast as well. Mm -hmm. You have fletching, you're getting botkin for your castles anyway, so I, I think skirms feels like such a nice unit for the long game as well. This game just feels so weird to me. Like, Cobra Car was all over Edward. How is Edward... Maybe it's a TC idle time, but I don't think that's, that's too important now. How is Edward still in this game? It's 150 population for both players. Ah, knights were used quite heavily there to mm -hmm. get few villager kills in the end in Arbalest. Once they get to like 15 there, they they deal with small knight raids quite well. And maybe after the one move-in where he found so many villager kills, transitioning to him a bit earlier could have been a better option for Cobra Car. Cobra Car's got to change his gather point on his stables. And I don't think he should engage here. Just wait until you get armor. Wait till you get cavalier. He's obviously got knights in the queue, but he doesn't have many defensive castles because he went for the forward ones. He's actually starting to lose the forward castles and 60 military for Edward. He's got a strong fight now, and he has the defensive army. This is a bad situation for Cobra Car. Oh, nice snipe of the Scorpion there. That's the main damage dealer. Conversion not really coming in. Knights now finally surrounding. Okay. That took some time there, Nilly. I really wish I would have checked the numbers before this fight because that actually looks a lot better than I thought it would be. Still will have the numbers high enough. And now we're starting to see some armor for, for archers. So I imagine skirm upgrades uh, or, or archer upgrades means we'll see skirms. But Cobra Car definitely starting to lose some ground and actually needs to get houses up. Because when these castles mm -hmm. go down, he will be pop capped. And where is he actually rebuilding those houses? At the front. Well, one of them. Yeah. This is crazy, man. I, I thought Edward was dead. I genuinely thought Edward was going to die here. It's Lithuanians with three relics and full map control. But the sneakiness of Edward to expand, and, and he, now he has access to virtually every resource. Pretty insane. Yeah, Cavalier is now coming in. The plus four armor. That could be a lot of dead villagers at that wood line. Let's take a look. Oh, no. Oh, no. What? Tell me Oscar he saw not committing there. He saw it, right? He didn't see it. He actually didn't see any villagers. He didn't know. He must know that there's been some expansion. So he's sending the units that way. Uh, but meanwhile, he's actually having to flee the middle. I really don't like the archer range placement because mm -hmm. he just lost mm -hmm. the castles. He really needs skirmishers. And he's also single queuing the skirms too, which might be a tell, but everything that he's building could go down. At the same time though, this TC will go down very quickly to the Lithuanian Cavalier. Uh -huh. Let's take a look, Elite Skirmisher will finish in time, indeed to see easily dies there, and then in the long run you will be starved on gold and stone, but actually Byzantines can work quite well without gold and stone. Yeah, Byzantines just have the ability to field so much military, Nilly. I'd say they're probably one of the best civs at having 100 villagers and 100 military.
Mm -hmm, just mm -hmm. very rare. Normally it's, uh, I'd say like 130 vils, 70 military, but with Byzantines, you can do a lot. A hand card has been in for a long time too, so it's been an efficient eco. And nice house walls here from Edward, but decent fight for Cobra Car to take against Halbadir. Well, let's take a look. I think it's not fully walled towards the castle. Now goes for the second layer of walls. That one is on point as well. Skirm count still not high for Cobra Car. Right, so at least Cobra Car will have a bit of time. He will run away now, but the castle goes up further, securing some positions. He's still producing from the range in the middle. Do we have more ranges, Nilly? Surely there's going to be more archery ranges here. He actually does not have the wood for it. That's an expensive loss. Big raid. Big raid with the uh, with the cab here, and Edward gets to 98 villagers, but the military count still climbing. Some more eco upgrades now coming in. We see Paladin Tech. Hello. Oh. It's important that Cobra Kai keeps his numbers alive then. <gasps> keeps his numbers alive then, I said. Oh, okay. man. I mean, some of them are weak too. That's not great, but did react at least. Oh, but look at that deadly force in the center of Edward. That's crazy. It I'd just love feels to see like some more production, though. It just feels like everywhere you look, there's a big ball of red military. Whereas Blue's got one or two, and he's just trying to to move it all around constantly. I know the relics are in, but still, Nilly, I'm not sure if there's going to be enough paladins to justify taking engagements against 80 military. Well, he has another nine cavaliers that shouldn't really go through the opponent's army if they want to combine forces. Such a weird angle. What is he doing? Uh, maybe just checking to see what's up. Yeah, that was a weird one. Maybe also a control group issue. I have no clue. But now the monastery! Uh -oh. The monastery has three relics. That's minus three attack instantly. Oh my god. Before Paladin 2. So he couldn't really attack. And how many archer range do we have interest in? One? One. And Skirms are melting anyways. That's before Paladins. Paladins is still 30 seconds away. Worst timing ever. Cobra Car has just lost the series. Right? Surely? I... Getting raided by Halbdir in the north, that's important. Cancel Paladin! Get the resources back. Nah, you don't cancel Paladin here. Because you're probably dead if you cancel Paladin. You're probably dead with Paladin, but at least you have Paladin. That was a very weird way of explaining that I disagree with you. But I, it, now it's just a generic Paladin. It's, it, it's not that special anymore. The extra attack would have been huge. He still has a relic in another monastery somewhere. And look at Edward spread out, man. He's hitting all the crucial resources. And Edward looking really good. Not Seriously. high on his halberdier count. He needs to build more production facilities at the front. Like five, six barracks. But look at his wood count. Not too hot either. Yeah, well, he has 64 halves. It's just they're not here. <laughs> so they're all in the back of his base coming forward. This is only going to get worse for Cobra Car. So the Paladin's engaged here. Now, if he can clear this, Nilly, he really needs more skirms for this to feel right to me. Uh, but those Paladins are the weak Cavaliers from earlier. So Avalis is actually doing a reasonable job. Bombard Cannon, one still survives. And that's not the fight Cobra Khan needed. Uh, he needed a fight there because it was only going to get worse. And then he could maybe get the Relics back. But it's look at that production. Look at that army coming over for Edward. And look at the Q in two ranges from Cobra Car. The fact he's queued so many skirms actually means he doesn't have wood for the ranges. And that's just panic, Aww. ladies and gents. You guys probably can relate to how stressful this game can be. And probably the biggest yep. moment in this player's career. So... I uh, did get a monastery at the top. So he at the moment has one relic. Yeah, I don't but, even know. There it is. Oh, yeah. God. That's even going to get castled. What does... What does Edward see? Edward sees everything. Look at this. Crazy. Crazy map awareness. Ah, oh, man. It's so hard to speculate on who this player could be. For what we've seen in this series, from the chat, to the pausing, to, to the sieves. I mean, everything points to Bact, except in previous Hidden Cups, Bact has not been able to deliver. For me, no clue who this player could be, but destroying right now. He feels, uh, it feels so weird to say, but 
He feels too good to be backed. I, that, that was my thought, but I, I, I've i always felt that back could step it up. It almost feels a little too good to be someone else who would come to mind based on the conversation earlier. I mean, what? how funny would it be if, if someone intentionally spoke with broken English to take everybody out? Hmm. Who, who would be such a guy? Like, I... Listen, I would not be saying back if it wasn't for the pausing and the talking. So, it certainly yeah. has worked if that's what someone's doing. Okay, let's ignore that. Who do you think, like, could Edward be, like, someone like Leary? Leary... Probably not. It's too, too heavily on water, right? Yeah. Too heavily on islands. No, I don't think Leary would ever play it this way. The name Nikov came to mind... Would Nikov troll? Mm, no, probably not. I, 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 I just don't know, Nilly. I, I'm more confused the Hidden Cup for than probably any of the Hidden Cups, but I can tell you right now that I think Cobra Car is dead. Well, population is actually shockingly close, but Skirms don't have too much protection in front of themselves. Heavy Camel Riders now arriving. The perfect counter to Skirm Paladin. Wow. And it looked... I, I thought we were going to game five. I genuinely thought mm -hmm. we were going to see forward castles from Cobra Car into massive boom behind it with skirmishers and paladins and GG, but it might have actually been the forward castles that killed Cobra Car. If you take engagements and you build castles along the middle of the map, a bit more passive nilly, and then you have protection against that type of a push. <clears throat> and Cobra Car defeated... As the first one who sort of won in the hero battle. Yeah, that's true. So apparently, uh, as if you needed more reason to believe this isn't rigged. There you go. <laughs> wow. Oh, it is more rigged because now he jinxed it. Yeah. That's, okay, I didn't think about that, but nearly. That's what uh, a good set. It was such a good... It was a great set, but this was such a good game too. Do you think... That this is uh, throw-ish territory. Of course, we're talking about the highest level. Do you think it was throw-ish territory from Cobra Car? Um, or is it too much to say that and all credit needs to be given to Edward? Hmm. I didn't know why he didn't play Mongols. It was kind of obvious that it was against Byzantines. Are they that bad? Skirms earlier. <sighs> I think Cobra Car had, had good shots. Yeah. Maybe after the first aggression, falling back and playing the super long game is yeah. the way to go. Maybe a mix of both. Yeah, let's look back to a moment that I didn't highlight, actually. Whoops. <laughs> uh, I thought that that was going to be showing up, but uh, apparently not. I just wanted to look back to that castle. I mean, when that first castle went up, Nilly. Oh, here we go. This is actually the moment where he decided nice. to, to build the second one, right? He cancels this and places it forward. I'm thinking this game is game over. 13 villager lead for Cobra Car. Cobra Car is about to get relic number two. Eventually ended up getting four. How did Edward ever push back from this position? Do you think maybe Cobra Car should have made fewer knights? Well, I think the first initial mass of knights was nice. But then, what did the rams really do? He had like five rams, siege yeah. workshop. And he killed some houses in archery range, one barracks. But one mangonel alone defended it then. I'm also really surprised at how well Edward was at stabilizing. I mean, knights are running in with Lithuanian attack. He eventually had to expand as well. His counterattacks were thwarted multiple times. Uh, there's not many players who are going to be able to come back from those positions, if you ask me. So, 6-6 six, six series for Edward as he moves on. Yeah, crazy. And I I'm, I'm pulling up the list of players, honestly, to fi somehow figure out who those two players were. Yeah, and after all the games yesterday... Of course, has two more have two more sets coming up today. People are really going to be wondering who is out there. And I think we're almost at the point with only four players remaining with two best of fives where the confusion is really setting in when it comes to the guessing games because I only have maybe three or four players who I'm, I feel somewhat certain on. Not sure about the others, but the economy was still stronger when it came to wood and stone, at least, for Edward Longshanks. 10,000 more food with Lithuanians. Look at the, the food, the gold, and then having the relics losing that game has got to hurt so much for Cobra Car. Also, who is the player who would ask for a restart or like a, a restore due to the servers? 
That, There's well, some people that just are playing it through, even if it lags. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know, know. Jordan played some with lag against Capwatch. I think some against the Max with his PC. <laughs> I, I have no clue, man. I'm, I'm already... I'm talking about the pauses and whatnot. Now we're talking about who would want to restore it. Like, Doubt doesn't care. He, if he starts the game, he plays until someone types GG. Yeah, maybe, maybe if there is lag, you could argue that the players might be very far apart and whatever server they were using uh, was, was causing some issues. You could even speculate because I think some servers have been more problematic than others over the years. So. Um, but mm -hmm. Nilly, I, I want to find out what viewers think about this.